This game contains scenes of explicit violence and gore. All right, what happened in the pre-stream? Uh, Monster Mike, thank you for the follow. Blue Toe to you too, and DZ Kuchaku, thank you for the host. Uh, I see nothing. Resubscribe with Twitch Prime for eight thousand. Oh, there's more. I see nothing. Resubscribe with Twitch Prime for eight whole years, and then Blinky's coat. Resubscribe for seven whole years. <laughs> You're right, it's an NES game. How spooky could it be? We don't play spooky games around here. That, that's absolute nonsense. We'll give you that impression. Oh no, there's more. Yo, Lemon Crush 377. Resubscribe for 377 months. I can't believe it. There's absolutely nothing scary about this home. It's a pretty sweet home. We're just gonna we're just gonna check out some houses today, and there's gonna be nothing strange about that. Here we go. We're playing Sweet Home today. The Hit Famicom game by Capcom. This came out in 1989. It was released in tandem with the film of the same name. I think they released at the same time too. They're almost meant to be experienced together. So I highly recommend everybody go watch the film after this stream. It should be on YouTube, completely subtitled. Yeah, we're about to play Sweet Home, Nothing Excess. What's the problem? It's totally fine, nobody panic. 
going to be completely a okay. We also have to run the uh, we have to run the subtitled ad as well. There's a there's a subtitled commercial for the video game on on YouTube. I gotta we gotta run that, but I can't in good conscience steal somebody's footage without also linking it in the chat room. So I'm gonna link it. Gonna gonna link the video as I run the ad. <laughs> あの水と法務のファミコン借り成功したぞ。呪われた屋敷に閉じ込められてしまった5人のテレビ取材班。この5人を捜査して、一人でも多く脱出させるのが君の使命だ。さあ逃げろ。ぐずぐずしていると屋
each with unique abilities. We've got our boy Kazuo right here. He's got a lighter. Also remember, we each have our own tools. So whenever it's dark, or we're, whenever we have to burn something, rather, we'll need to use Kazuo's lighter for that. We've got Akiko, who's probably the most important character. She's got a first aid kit that can heal status ailments with. We've got Taro, this, uh, this guy right here. He's got the camera. And the entire reason we're in this building is to take pictures, because we're filming a documentary for Ichiro, uh... Ichiro Mamiya. He was a painter. This is his mansion, but he mysteriously Welcome disappeared. Get ready. Yo, Yerebe, thank you for the follow. But he mysteriously disappeared 30 years ago in this very mansion. Where has he gone? And we've got Emmy. It's a little girl. She's got a key. What are we doing? So we immediately gotta switch to... Uh... Asuka. Cause this is glass, we can't go this way. There's broken glass on the ground! So we have to... Go to item, we gotta use her vacuum! Gotta vacuum up this glass! <laughs> and we'll definitely want to make sure that we are in teams. We gotta create two separate teams here. So we're gonna have Asuka team up with Akiko, and we're gonna have both of them team up with... I guess Taro, this is usually how I do it. These three are on one team. And then Kazuo and his daughter, Emmy will be on the other team. They do not explore the mansion alone, that's good advice. Hold on, I gotta close a couple things. Alright. I don't know what's happening, but let's stick together, you got it. Yo, what's up, Dick Debonair? Wow! What a mansion! That left room! Yeah, it's gonna get a little spooky in here, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna pretend like it's not gonna be a little spooky. We've got a wax candle. We gotta start grabbing shit. So we'll take the candle. We'll take the... We'll take the tonic. This is a healing item. It's important to note that there are only 21 tonics in the game. This is the only thing you can use to heal yourself. So if you need to heal yourself a 22nd time, you are fucked. Got a note right here. Let's read the note. There's a letter. Welcome to my home. Photograph my fresco, for therein lies a clue to the way out. It's from Ichiro. And that must be the fresco on the wall. Let's check it out. It's a fresco. He's a hell of a painter, that Ichiro. But how to preserve it? <laughs> what if they didn't have a camera? I know, it'd be a disaster. Is this game hard? This game has a really weird thing where it's super hard early on, and then it gradually gets easier the farther in you get. Yeah, there's a pray feature. It's not necessary to pray at the fresco, but we do need to take a picture of it with our camera, because that's the whole reason we're here. Yes, I do, Super Saiyan Jacob. I mentioned that much on Twitter. Letters appear. My three frescoes will solve a puzzle. Alright, now we're getting somewhere. There's also a knife on the table. It's a fruit knife! Here we go. Let's take a... Who's, who's, get, who's getting the fruit knife? Let's give it to... Let's give it to Kazuo, I guess. So yeah, this game came out a whole seven years before Resident Evil did, but it inspired that video game in a great many ways, and in fact, was conceived by the very developer of this video game. This door is locked! 
but it's alright, because Emmy's got a key. This key that she's carrying around. Yeah, Resident Evil was originally gonna be a remake of this game. They were gonna make the- they were gonna put it on the Super Nintendo back in 93. Obviously that didn't pan out. Is it possible to lose a, a team member and if so, are you fucked? Yes and yes. This game has permadeath, you see. If the party member dies in this video game, they're not coming back. <laughs> and in fact, there are five different endings, depending on how many people survive. We're gonna try and get the best one, though. Kenji, the frescoes contain clues. I think they're grouped by date. And if there's something you need from that character, then GG. It depends on where you're at in the video game. There are replacement items for the things the... There's replacements to the items that each character is carrying, but if you hadn't yet progressed to the game... Uh, if you hadn't progressed the game to the point where you can find that item, then yeah, you're just done. You're fucked. GG. We gotta burn this rope with Kazuo's lighter. There's an evil doll! So we're already- we're already getting into battles. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna call for our teammates. We're gonna call for our team too. And we're gonna try and get everybody involved in this fight at the same time. So if we can get there in time, now we've got all five people in the fight. No effect! That's the only way to get all five people in the same battle. You have to use the call function like that. Because the most people you can take around with you at a time is three. Despite the fact that there's five people in this game, you constantly have to be split up in groups of two like this. Wood! Let's grab both of these woods. They're playing some sweet home. Is this another fruit knife? No, it's a silver knife! It's even better! Alright, so we're cooking now. It is a little dark in here. Can we use the lighter? No, we cannot. All right. No, we gotta use the uh, we gotta use the wax candle that we got. Hey, <laughs> you're not sleeping. <laughs> I'm so sorry. So sorry to anyone that gets a little spooked today. It's gonna be a little spooky. There's another note. One fell down, but was pulled to safety. What does that mean? Do you have to have the lighter to light the candle? I don't think so. There's a wisp! Call for help! We're gonna try and do this every single encounter because it's important that everybody gets the experience points, you see. Yo, Kluber is thank you for the host. There we go. I've blocked myself in with the other team. It's a chasm, if only we had a bridge. How can you see the chasm, Akiko? You are correct, there is a chasm there. Tell you what, you can get out of the room. Just, just chill over here for a sec. Dodge the ghost. <laughs> All right. So there's a gap. In fact, we cannot go that way. Okay, what do we need to... We gotta pick up that wood. We're gonna leave our fruit knife here. Oh, I can't exchange that. 
Does the lighter have limited fuel? Thankfully, no. We're gonna give the fruit knife to Taro, I guess. Because we're about to grab a better weapon. When did I play Punisher? I think I played it a couple times on stream. Uh, I couldn't tell you what streams exactly, though. The battle theme is very good. Level ups! Oh, it feels good! That's a good jingle. I like that. Alright, here's the deal. We can use this wood to go across the chasm. But now we have to explain wood mechanics. Because this game's got wood mechanics. Each plank can only withstand the weight of precisely five steps. So that's one. That's two. We can grab this spear. There's a spear here. So we're gonna take the oak spear and then we gotta go back across. So that's three and four. If we step on this a fifth time, it will collapse. And if somebody happened to be on the wrong side of that chasm when the wood broke, fucking GG's at, at this early in the game, you're not getting them back. Uh oh Dodge the ghost again. Show it? Nah, I'm good. <laughs> See this, though? See this, though? This is a special wood. This is blue wood! Blue wood is better than red wood in this game, because the blue wood can take over a hundred... ...can take over a hundred steps, I believe. If we put both woods on the same character, though, we won't be able to tell who has what. So we need to... We'll swap that out for the tonic, and then we'll put the tonic here. Does the game tell you if there's no way to proceed? <laughs> no, it does not. Absolutely not. No. <laughs> you just gotta hold that if you get stuck. game can be a little ruthless. Not gonna lie, there are moments that can be a little rough. But we'll make it work. Don't give up, skeleton. I believe in you. There's writing on the wall, though. Written in blood. Power of the heart overcomes evil. Words to live by. Yo, Johnny Flawless, subscribe to Twitch Prime for two million years! I can't believe it! Has it really been that long? There's another note! Takashi, the next fresco is a cross, and on the left, be careful. Somebody named Takashi was here before we were. Yeah, there were others like us. Frightening! Wonder what happened to them. You think they're doing all right? So this is like the main chasm on, on the, uh, this is the main chasm on the first floor. This is where we're gonna use the blue wood. I think Kazuo had the blue wood. Because we might need to come across this way several times. So we'll use, uh, we'll use the good one right there. There was another one still, yeah? Wasn't there a third wood? Where's the other wood? Hold on. We never picked this up, did we? No. There we go, perfect. Uh... <laughs> yeah, it doesn't actually show up blue, unfortunately. Worms! Oh no! Call for help! I'm uncomfortable, chat room!
You sure is guts all of a sudden. Let's go back up our boys. Ah, shit, we didn't get there in time. No, call him again. There we go. Squad goals. Welcome to the panel, Get ready. No, I know. Thank you for the follow. So here's the deal. When... Yeah, it's a lot of worms. Certain enemy types are weak to certain things. I believe the worms are weak to the lighter, and that'll be better than anything else that we have up to this point. So we'll use the lighter, see if Kazuo can do some good damage with it. 19 damage! There we go. Perfect. You'd think this would be an enemy right here. Yeah, the only penalty is if they're too far. You essentially waste your turn. You know, trying to reunite the, the team. Maybe he's friendly. Be brave! Your tools. Weapons. Fire. Bugs. Light. Bats. We just went over this. But yeah, fire is strong against bugs. And light is strong against bats. You don't like his grippy hand? No, it's fine. It's probably fine. Has anybody died yet? Nobody's dying today. This is the no death run. Save the game. <laughs> What's in here? Oh, we got more shit. What about all the endings? That would require us to... I mean, you'd, that'd be a pretty hard to set up, I think. <laughs> now go for the lighter, and then call. Asuka took six damage. What we need to use- what we gotta try and do is really stagger our... We have to try and stagger our... Potion usage, because you only get so many of them. Save them for when you really need them. Oh, we gotta vacuum all this glass up. Yeah, this is the Splatterhouse Mansion. We're in the mansion of Ichiro Mamiya. A famous painter... ...who mysteriously disappeared 30 years ago. And clearly, this mansion has fallen into disrepair since. A skeleton! The light fell. I was too slow. Beware. What does that mean, Mr. Skeleton? Well, at least he's friendly. Whoops, I accidentally split up. Here we go. You think, Mr. Skeletal? What do we got? We got a silver knife! We'll try and get a weapon on everybody. Everybody's gonna need a weapon. Here's another tonic. Make sure both teams have access to a tonic. There's another fruit knife. I think everybody has a weapon at this point? More wood. And another fresco. How do we preserve this fresco? It's covered in dust. When a fresco is covered in dust, it is not enough to simply take a picture of it. Nothing happens. You also have to use the vacuum. Because you see, it's a very precise vacuum that is specifically for cleaning up dust on paintings. And then you can take a picture of it with the camera. One needs a mallet to remove a boulder. You got it. But we haven't seen a mallet yet. We definitely can't go this way. Odd shadows. Yeah, we cleaned it! Who are you, though? There's a doll here! Can I talk to you? 
Yet, comrade. Oh no! I don't know if we're gonna get there in time. <laughs> I don't know if we're gonna get- That's a long walk! Oh, okay, we're fine. Twelve damage, fuck you! That's absurd! Everybody attack except Kazuo, who's got the lighter. <laughs> we gonna need a point reward that reminds me to save. Ooh, the juicy... The juicy level up jingle. Oh, it feels pretty good. There's a rune axe up here! Let's get rid of one of those fruit knives! Asuka cannot use the fruit knife because you see... Or, uh, Asuka can't use the rune axe because the rune axe is specifically a male... Uh, equipable weapon. Certain weapons in this game can only be used by either male or female characters. You want me to save my game? I got you. I will save my game when I am reminded to save. Yeah, this never got an official release outside of Japan. I don't think the movie did either. It's unfortunate. But at least we can experience it now. There we go. <laughs> and we got poisoned! is poisoned! Status ailments can be an enormous problem in this game, but as long as, Aki as, long as Akiko is nearby, you swap to her, and you use the uh, first aid kit she's holding. Emmy's poison has been cured. Here is the problem with status ailments. Certain status ailments in this game relieve control of the character afflicted by them. And the only way to restore that status ailment is to use Akiko's first aid kit. What I'm saying here is, if Akiko happens to be the one that gets hit with that status ailment, and you haven't yet found the replacement item for the first aid kit, you are not getting that character back. So save a lot is what I'm saying. There's a light falling! Oh shit, left, right, duck or pray! Oh, we're ducking! No, we're jumping to the left. Jumping to the left was not the correct, uh, choice. <laughs> it's alright, it's only three damage. It's only three damage, we're fine. Nobody panic. The door is locked. I should have prayed, you're right. Can I use the key on this door? I cannot. Can I use the key on this door? Excellent. Yeah, it's fairly harmless, Drim. What do you think about the lightning here? Very atmospheric. A skeleton! What did he write on the wall? Welcome to the family. Donkey Knifer, thank you for the follow. That's a name. Avoid the shadows. Sound advice. We have to burn this rope with the lighter. The Super Saiyan Jacob, thank you for the host. It's an oak spear. Did anybody still have a fruit knife? Let's check the other team. We still have a fruit knife, okay. Let's get rid of this fruit knife, because it's garbage, it is dirt to us. Here we go, swap that out. Fruit knife and oak spear are switched. So now we got some decent weapons. Oh, 
all for help. Always. Make sure everybody gets the experience points, because it actually... We're not allowed to beat this game on a low level. There actually is a prerequisite level that you must reach by the end, or you will not be able to beat the video game. So it's important to try and keep everybody leveled up. This is a shortcut. We can just... we can burn this for later. There's a chasm. Just fucking... And then we can we can do something, we figure out that later. <laughs> can we use the key for this door? We cannot! Yeah, there are some level requirements. We will get to those as they happen. Is Kazuo holding the lit candle? Yeah. Oh, I think he's holding his lighter. Everybody is holding their special tool in their sprite. Why can't we use the key? We've got the wrong key for that door. Emmy's key is not the only key in this game. Can we go this way? This one we can open. But maybe we should exhaust our other options first, because this one was already open. <laughs> Uh... Alright, we're not going that way anytime soon. There's a bunch of rubble that just fell. Can't go this way. There is a note, though. There's a note from Etsuko. You can find a spare camera and key in other rooms. Find them. Sure enough, every item down there at the bottom of the screen is a replacement item, just in case one of our party members were to die. You see that camera down there at the bottom? The, the blue... <laughs> 80s-esque camera? If we were to lose our photographer, we'd have to use that the rest of the game. Not the bats. Not the bats! Oh no. Wait. Lighter, then call. There we go. There are things that work in your advantage. There are things that work to your advantage in this game, though. Namely, that... Enemies always go... Enemies always... Attack last. You always get to take your turn. Before they do. who was poisoned! Yo, Dick Debonair gifted a sub to Lance Murdoch! Thank you so much! Uh, we still got a call. They're still not... Here we go. Can your two parties be fighting two different enemies? I don't think so. So here's the deal. Bats are weak against light, but we don't currently have anything that provides light. We do have the lighter, which you'd think is the, uh, the one. You'd think this would work, but no, it doesn't. And there's not really any other weapons that will be super helpful. We can try to hit these bats, but we're not going to be able to hit them very hard. These are the situations where praying may come in handy. Praying is a special attack we Welcome can do. Get ready. Yo, Chris, thank you for the follow. Can the camera flash a light? I think it's specifically the flashlight we'd need. But if we uh, try to pray, for example, this is a unique attack mechanic that we can use. There will be instances of the game that require us to pray. And you've got this meter that goes up and down, and the higher it is, the more prayer points you will spend, and the stronger the attack will be. Oh, I've played this before. Don't you worry about that. Dick Debonair gifted another sub to LOGICAL CONTRADICTION! I will do my best to explain how the video game works... ...as things happen. Yeah, we're at the start of the game. Let's pray some more. Yeah, 
Is this what they call an old game? Allegedly. Oh shit, he's still poisoned. Uh, fix his poison. First aid. Okay. Alright, we got more shit. We have... What do we got here? There's a rune spear. Yo, Anne, thank you for the host. The rune spear is a female exclusive weapon. So we can give this to uh, Akiko, for example. Rune spear, very good weapon. There's a doll! Welcome. Well, she seems pleasant. <laughs> there are no guns in this game, Spebble. <laughs> Let's vacuum this glass up. VR remaster of this game? I would... I would shit my pants, not gonna lie to you. Not out of excitement. This team could probably use a candle. And we've still got room for it for, uh, still got room for this. All right. There's a skull. Just a skull, it's all by itself. Maybe it's fine. Get the squad together. Jumbo Donut, thank you for the host. Keep the squad together. There were snakes in there. <laughs> Thankfully, it's not doing anything. We're getting some good luck. Yeah, it's just a skull. There's nothing strange about it. Amazing. Did I talk to the skeleton? I can't, he's dead. Just kidding! Why did you abandon me? Poor bastard. There's a note. There's a note from Shogo. To go beyond, turn on the generator first. The lights are off in this building! Oh, there must be a generator nearby. Look at him, though. There's a mouse. I love him. Look at he. <laughs> anyway. There's an old sword here. I feel like that's better than what we had already. Rune, rune spear, oak spear, rune axe. What do these people have? Oh yeah, let's get rid of the silver sword for the old sword, or the silver knife, rather. Swap those out. Yeah, we're gonna leave them behind. Do both teams have a tonic? Yes, they do. We'll fucking take it anyway. Take another one. That's true. As soon as you touch a curved sword like that, you become a pirate instantly. Okay, we got good weapons now, apparently. Dick Tebonair gifted a sub to Squeak! I can't believe it. Thank you so much. We gotta go this away. There are gaps in the floor. Put some wood down. Put a wood down. Here we go. Yes, Kloobers. That's generally how you want to use a tonic. You want to make sure everybody's in the battle at the time. <laughs> Thank you. 
Yeah, the entire floor is worms. How are there this many worms? Seems ridiculous. If I'm not mistaken, there's another fresco in the room ahead of us, but that would require us to have... Taro. The photographer. But he's in a team of three, and if we bring him... If we take him, there won't be... any way to get him back. So we would have to... We'd have to have Taro split here. What's he holding? He's holding wood and a tonic. We can take one other person. What are these? What are they holding? Kazuo's got an empty item slot. Alright, that's the squad just for this room. There we go. We'll take just those two. Got a lot of shit in here, too. Look at this note. You always named the nurse character Mom? <laughs> yeah! The generator is east! Some directions! I can't believe it. We can't call for help this time. Because we're on the other side of that plank. Time to pray, then. That was a strong prey, and he survived! No, kill him, though. No, take him out, though. Oh, shit! Kazuo is stunned. Can I just use four prayer points? There we go. So, if, if somebody gets stunned, you pretty much have to pray in battle to save them. The way that stun works in this game, and this is a... This is, this is some fucked up shit. As soon as somebody gets stunned in this game, all attacks get directed straight to that character. I don't think much of that ghost. I don't think much of the ghost in the room. Yeah, the game is very mean. <laughs> yeah, exactly what Anne said. Uh, camera, here we go. Letters appear. The mallet is under the desk in the room with a small beast. You got it. What else do we got in here? I have one empty slot. What do we have in this room? We have a rope on the table. We have a log on the other table. Uh, I don't think we need ropes anytime soon. We might need this log, though, so we'll take it. And we're gonna get the hell out of this room before that ghost catches up! Oh, I'm getting the hell out of here. We don't got prayer points for this shit. I'm outie! Nope! I think not, sir! There we go. Uh, we gotta get the teams fixed. Gotta fix my teams. Here we go. And then you go with you. Sick. Is there a reason only two people could enter that room? It's because we used a plank to bridge that gap. We had to use a plank so that there wasn't a gap in the floor there, and the plank can only withstand five steps before breaking. So if we took a team of three over there, they wouldn't be able to get the third person back across. So we're gonna call for help, then we're gonna pray, and then we're gonna fucking pray some more! Oh, I can't pray with Taro, he's got no points. He's got no prayer points! Now Asuka's stunned, which means we've got to pray to save Asuka. That's an enormous raid, Psycho! Holy shit! 
We're playing spooky NES games today. Can I get a prayer for five Welcome points? There we go. Yo, Rodriguez, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Yo, Asuka got stunned again. Hydra Vault, thank you for the follow. <laughs> oh, no, do we got Psycho Copy Pastas in here? <laughs> Welcome to the Fantasy Zone. Get ready. Alright, what are we doing? We got, uh... Oh, I can't really pray anymore. No one's got more. No one's got shit for me to pray with. Yo, Steve, thank you for the follow. Very good copy pasta. Welcome to the fantasy zone. Get ready. What we need to do is I think we gotta dip. I think we gotta get the hell out of this fight. Unless, unless the first aid kit works, which I don't think it does. It's <laughs> definitely Welcome got some 5-5 five, five energy. There we go. Welcome to the fantasy zone. Get ready. That could have went a lot worse. Somehow we crawled out of that fight without issue. Okay. Welcome to the fantasy zone. Get ready. You're for the follow. Yeah, Bubsy. Only Bubsy has the power Welcome to curse to the, the stream. Zone. Get ready. So what did we what did that fresco say? Fresco said that the room with the small beast in it had a Welcome mallet to the fantasy zone. Get ready. hidden on the table. And sure enough it does. If we look right here, there is a mallet. The small beast they're referring Welcome to is that to mouse on the ground. Get ready. Yo, Kirby thing for the follow. So we can we gotta pick up this mallet. We might as Welcome well use to a tonic. A stupid potato, thank you for the follow. I don't think you're stupid. I think you're perfect just the way you are. Welcome to the fantasy zone. Get ready. Welcome to the fantasy zone. Get ready. Alright. This is what we're looking for. <laughs> Welcome to the fantasy zone. Get ready. Uh, what are we doing? Okay. So here's the plan. We're gonna... We're gonna get the whole squad together. And then we're gonna use our first tonic. Shadow Bro, thank you for the follow. We're gonna use our first tonic. Who's got a tonic? Welcome to the fantasy zone. Get ready. Guess we gotta use the lighter. Emmy's got a tonic. And since the whole party is together... Welcome to the fantasy zone. Get ready. Spooky Heart, thank you for the follow. Since the entire party is in battle, the tonic should hit everybody, and then everybody will get healed and get all their shit back. There we go. The timing on those bits were absurd. Thank you so much for the, uh, thank you for the, thank you for the bits! Welcome to the fantasy zone. Get ready! King of Kings, thank you for the follow. Okay. So, every time we use a tonic, everybody gets... Get ready. Everybody gets all of their... Everybody gets all their prayer points back, everybody gets all their HP back. It's one of two Welcome ways in this game Get ready. to restore, uh, prayer points. We need to grab that mallet that's hidden here, too. How many Welcome new people followed? Feels zone. like Get a ready. very large amount. Very thankful to Psycho. <laughs> Can we Welcome go this way? It's Get locked. Ready. Can Emmy use the key? Yes. I don't know if we want to go this way, though. Welcome to the fantasy zone. Get ready. Don't know if we want to go in this room yet. Go Welcome away! This is zone. not Get your ready. place. Oh, gee. Okay. Well, we can't go that way anywhere. <laughs> we can't go Welcome this way regardless. Get ready. Somebody did not want us. Somebody did not want us over there. We cannot use this key for this door. Emmy does not have the right key. Which means... We gotta go back downstairs. Did that do damage? I don't think so. Mercifully. Oh no. I could do with less of these zombies. I'll be honest with you. These zombies are a huge problem because they can stun the party. Thankfully, nobody got stunned. 
What's the plot to this game? We have a film crew that is trying to film a documentary within this mansion that used to belong to a famous painter. They're making a documentary dedicated to the life and works of said painter. That guy went missing 30 years ago, though. And clearly this mansion has become haunted in the meantime. We don't know why. Look out for the chair! All right, going left didn't uh, going left didn't work. We're gonna dodge by diving right. Yo, crushed it. Easy. This game's for babies. You assume the game's based on the movie? Yeah. You are correct. I don't think it follows the film one to one though. Kohachi's thank you for the follow. It does not follow the film one to one. Emmy leveled up. Did we read this note? I don't think we did. Takashi, if one is caught, pray. I can do that. Oh no. We've got more spooky ghosts. That's a big one! <laughs> Yeah, Jumbo Donut, it's almost as if this game inspired the development of another Capcom survival horror Welcome game. To the fantasy zone. Get ready. Ruben, thank you for the follow. Can I talk to the clearly deceased man? Yes, I can. Rune weapons prevent fear and, co uh, fear and curses. Rocks block the way. Lucky for us, we've got that mallet! SMASH THE ROCKS! There was definitely a Giga Ghost. I don't know why I've destroyed every block. <laughs> we didn't have to do that. But it felt good. There's a fire extinguisher over there. Can we mallet these? We cannot. His squished shook. Oh shit, these are back. Alright, I understand. Let's get the squad. Let's get the get the whole squad in there. Can't see shit with this team. Hold on. We got another candle? Sick. I think we just barely baited it time. Yeah, wax candle. Or, depending on how you read it, a waxy. I suppose it's not super clear which it is. I always assumed it was a wax and then a... Uh... Yo, sneak thing for the host. I always assumed it was wax and then the picture of a candle. But it might be waxy. <laughs> Can't see shit. Can't see shit in this house. We've got a candle and it's really not even that helpful. It's a very fancy eye, yeah. See that? See that shit down there? It's a weapon. It's really powerful. Especially against living things. Uh, hold on. Definitely we need some wood to grab that. So we'll use a wood. So we have placed a... We've placed a piece of wood. We've placed a plank across that gap. This team of three cannot go that way, though. So we gotta do this. And now there's another chasm. So we have to use a second wood. To go even farther. And now we can finally grab this club. It's a really good weapon, though. We'll be glad we did. Oh, shit. Never mind. Wisps are garbage. Never mind. I was worried we shouldn't have been worried. And get it back across those before the planks are destroyed. 
A light fell. Dodging these left didn't work last time. Let's duck it! This is some bullshit chat room. <laughs> Let's read this note. Flashlight. Shadow. Yeah, we could pray next time. I think that praying does, like, guarantee that it works. I think praying does ensure that it works. The only problem is you're spending your prayer points, and you might need them for problematic encounters. So really, you've got to decide, uh... How important your prayer points are to you, I guess. Takashi, go quickly! The generator is in the East Garden. You got it. East Garden, I can do that. There's a bat chasing me. I don't think so. I think not. You might be right, Trim. I hadn't considered that. Let's go. Oh no. Is that a statue? Let's duck the statue! Shit! Five damage. I mean, it's really... It's, it's a very early example of, like, a QTE, right? Is this, like, the first known instance of a QTE? Is that what this is? <laughs> Sinistar. There's a fresco there. It was six years after Dre. Oh yeah, I forgot about... I failed to consider laser disc games. That would definitely predate any of this shit. I don't know how the laser disc video games all slipped my mind, but yeah, that'd be... That'd be the first ones. Which buffered during the door opening? How does that make you feel? Did it add to the drama? I hope so. Yeah, we gotta play some more laser disc games. What does Prey do? Prey is essentially like a magic attack. Depending on how much of the meter you want to use, we can spend a maximum of 23 prayer points right now. And you would do a very powerful attack completely detached from whatever weapon you're using, and it's just guaranteed high damage. The problem is, prayer points are finite at this point of the game. There was still another bat. And there are things that you need prayer points for, so you don't want to spend them if you don't need to. Alright, cool. There's a fresco here. We need our- we need our camera team to examine the fresco. By the end of this stream, the word fresco is going to sound fake to you all. Our 10th anniversary, and our first child is born. Ooh, getting some lore about the, uh, the Mamiya family. Sword over there. Is it good? It's a shiv! <laughs> I kinda want the shiv. Oh yeah, I'm using an arcade stick. You'll have to... You'll have to uh, ignore the loud arcade stick clacking of buttons. Why did I try to talk to the sword? That's not how that works. Who gets the shiv? Let's give it to Asuka, who only has an oak spear. She's got a shiv now. <laughs> got a note on the table. Head north for the East Garden. Yo, what's up, Riddler? Another rune spear. We've already got- we're already decked out in rune gear, I believe. Yeah, we don't need that spear. That one is useless to us. Ooh, 
wait, wait, call, always try, we gotta get into the habit. We got attacked by a chair before we even got to the, before we even got to the encounter. We have to dodge a chair first. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yo, Ali Kitsune gifted a sub to Dr. G Funk. Yeah, we did it. We dodged it. Thank you so much, Allie. 52 damage. That's a hell of a club we just got. Welcome to the Woo! fantasy zone. Get ready. Yo, Aiden Man, thank you for the follow. I probably missed like 8,000 follows. I'm so sorry. That is the flashlight over there. We definitely need another wood to get over there. How many woods do we got? That's one. There's a second one here. We can use one for this gap. Who's got the other one? Taro's got the other one. So we'll switch to Taro, and we will give that to Emmy. Because we gotta take our team of two across the gap to place another wood so that we can reach the flashlight. Also, there's a boulder there. <laughs> so we're gonna have to grab this quick. Uh, uh, flashlight, grab it, and then dip. Get me out. Oh shit, we got into a fight in the meantime. All right, another zombie. We can handle zombies. I ain't afraid of no Zambos. I think Emmy's about to get run over by a boulder, though. That's unfortunate. Shit! She did get hit by the boulder. That did 30 damage! What does the lighter do? We need it to burn ropes, and it's effective against certain enemies in the video game. Okay, so Emmy's got the flashlight. Are you screwed if you use your wood planks poorly? Yes. You are absolutely soft-locked if you use them poorly. You are 100% fucked. Alright, Emmy's got the flashlight. We got... We gotta handle some business. <laughs> Capcom be like. <laughs> Alright, get. Rejoin. Rejoin the unit. You can only move two characters. You can move three at a time. So the game forces you to use two parties simultaneously. There's another wood. We don't have room for it right now. Alright, here we go. So we've got the flashlight. The flashlight is specifically used to, to get rid of these purple flashing barriers. We're gonna use this here, and we are going to save ourselves some time at the very, very end of the game by taking out that barrier now. This game was only available for the Famicom, you are correct. This never saw an American release, or a European release, or anything other than a Japanese release. The same can be said for the film the game is based on. Oh shit, we didn't get there in time. It's fine. It worked out anyway. Uh... Where else, where else did we see a barrier for the flashlight? Nope, 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 nope! Dodge the ghosts! What's the source material? It is the film, sweet home. I don't think the film was based on anything. Okay, so here's the other barrier. We gotta get, gotta get these dingle dorks over there.
yeah, the movie and game came out at the same time. They were promoted together. So much so that the advertisement we saw for the video game contained scenes from the film. Yeah, a lot of worms. Almost exclusively worms in this mansion. It's fucked up. Did it happen in Alabama? Yeah, famously the, uh... The mansion of... <laughs> of deceased painter Ichiro Mamiya. Famous Alabamian... Alabamian? What do we call people from Alabama? Alright, anyway. We gotta use the flashlight. The Alabama prefecture, yeah. The world famous. <laughs> You just have to build up this muscle memory of always trying to get your entire party into the fight. You just have to do it. Yes! Yeah, the Alabama prefecture of Japan. Where this game takes place. Cool. Poison has been unpoisoned. Oh no, we gotta dodge a statue! We're going left! Yo, Lagon, thank you for the seven whole years. We did it. I dodged that statue just for you, Lagon. There's a doll. You will all die. Seems a little rude. Seems a little presumptuous. <laughs> Huge of true. <drill. laughs> Tread not on the patterned floor. And sure enough, we cannot go this way because of the floor here. This floor pattern, we cannot walk on it. Yo, Malice, thank you for the 5,000 years in a row. How can this be? We haven't even been streaming for that long. I think we just barely got there in time to back up the team. Oh, shit. Yo, Apple Shine, thank you for the thank you for gifting a sub to Brad. Uh, so the screen is blue, which means somebody is stunned. I didn't see who got stunned, but as long as we pray a couple times, we should be able to unstun them. There we go. I can't emphasize enough that this this is essentially an RPG. We're essentially playing a JRPG that has random encounters, but also a hard limit, finite amount of healing items. So it's good that we're doing these fights and leveling up and such, but if we ever get to the point where we need to heal, and there's no more tonics in the game, we're gonna have a big fucking problem. What are you talking about, Appleshine? You take that back. I tried to take a picture of the broken glass on the floor with the camera instead of mopping it up. Alright, we got another tonic. We got- we actually have so many tonics, we don't know what to do with them all. There's nothing that way. It's true, there could be hunger mechanics. I hadn't considered that possibility. You know, I realize now that it's like... It's not even August yet. And we're playing probably the spookiest game I've played on stream. We didn't play anything this spooky in October <laughs> last year. <laughs> How long is this game? We'll be done with it by the end of the stream.
a key. Here we go. Now we're gaming. Look! The garden! We can see the garden outside! Oh no. Found a spooky dog. Oh no. No effect. Thankfully. Thankfully we didn't get absolutely cooked just now. Okay. It's handled. It is handled. Oh shit. Oh shit, the room is on fire! I understand. I understand the room is on fire. That's why the fire extinguisher is here. It all makes sense now, chat room. I get it. I understand. Ha 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 ha. Okay. Let's try that again. Fire X. <laughs> cool. All right. And there's a fresco here. <laughs> just the whole room just ignites all at once. It's fucked up. Uh, no, just look at it. This one is dirty, so we gotta use the vacuum first. How are- how are y'all holding up, chat room? How are- how are y'all doing today? I don't know if I've asked that. I hope this is not too spooky of a game. Or there is lightning. That's it, that's the entirety of the clue. Oh, hello. Bloody letters. Can't enter without prayer! Just look at this. Look at the suit of armor. It's a knight! He has a spear. Take it? Yes, I would like to take it. Concentrate harder. We cannot take the spear because we are not concentrating hard enough chat room. What happens in situations like this, and the game doesn't really tell you, I guess they did sort of, but we have to pray here. We have to pray the spear out of his hands. And this is important to note, because this is the first uh, like hard level cap. You have to have been leveled up enough to do at least a 24 point prayer, I think. And if we don't do at least 24, if we don't use at least 24 points, it doesn't work. So we gotta hit this pretty much right at the end of the meter. Sick. Akiko drew the spear. Perfect. We took the armor spear, which is not a weapon, it goes in your item slot, it's not your weapon slot at the bottom. It's also at this point of the game, we have to mention the very limited inventory space. You get two item slots per character, plus a weapon slot. So imagine then... Imagine if somebody dies, and you lose those two inventory slots forever. There's no revival mechanics in this game. You die in this game, you're just dead, they're just dead, they're not coming back. Welcome to the Fantasy Zone. Get ready. Yo, Lug, thank you for the follow. So imagine the implications, then, of potentially being down to one character and you only have two item slots. <laughs> Why did I split up? Nope. 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 Rejoin. Thank you. Can I open this with a key? I cannot. We do not have the right key for that door. Do we have the flashlight? Okay. What does this do? Does this room also catch on fire? No, wait, hold on. Wasn't there another fire extinguisher? Back a ways? Let's grab that real quick. Just in case there's another one.
<laughs> if the mystery gang could split up, yeah. Dude, we gotta play some Scooby-Doo games at some point, don't we? I absolutely do not feel like dealing with this zombie. Let's call for help, even though we're very definitely not gonna get there in time. It's not a chance in hell we get there, but let's call for help anyway. Oh, we just might. We might do it! Yes! Yeah, we. I guess we gotta play some Scooby-Doo games. Yeah. Nobody got hit by the, uh, stun effect. That's what the fuck I wanted to hear. Yeah, there is another fire extinguisher. Okay. So we'll grab this, because I get the feeling that that room is also about to catch on fire. Sounds perfect for October. We just play a bunch of Scooby-Doo games instead of actually scary shit. <laughs> I kind of like that idea. I'm not going to lie to you. I kind of like that idea. This is probably the spookiest thing. This is probably the spookiest thing I've streamed. And it's like nowhere near October. Streamed Bubsy, you're not wrong. Let's just pray him away. Let's just pray him away. Perfect. No apple shine gifted eight wholesome scribbies to the chat room. I can't believe it. Eight? Why today of all days? Uh, yeah, let's just assume this room will ignite. Yeah, fucking course it will. Ah, ooh, ooh, ah, ooh, ouch, my bones. Here we go. Fixed it. Today's spooky day. Shit, we're probably, like, decently close to another emote slot. Which terrifies me, because we already have way too many emote slots. <laughs> did I have to step on that panel? I don't think we did. Uh, what are we doing? We have to snap a pic. A knight needs a spear. Oh, we just fucking took a spear. We took a spear right off of another knight. I feel terrible about it. He needed that spear, chat room. What are we doing? Why did we do that? There's a silver axe. How many emotes for next slot? What do you mean? Welcome to the fantasy zone. Get ready. Yolamster or Iomster, perhaps. Thank you for the follow. Let's swap out this rune axe for a silver axe. Because it's probably better. Grab a... Grab a tonic as well. We still have room for another tonic. Shit. Or maybe we should use one. Maybe now's not a terrible time to use one. Maybe, possibly. <laughs> oh, how many... How many subs to the next emo? I can't say it out loud, you're right. As soon as I say it out loud, I'm gonna get... I'm gonna get bullied. <laughs> Emmy's looking low. All right, we'll use a... Ah, not in this not in this fight, though. We have to find, like, a safer fight to use a tonic in. There we go. We're not doing too bad. We need the lighter for this. 
You hadn't seen that Fio before today? Yeah, uh, I don't know if Zetsu Bear is here, but Zetsu Bear did that. That's a, that's a Zetsu joint. I highly recommend. Highly recommend, uh, commissioning him. I don't like this visual! I don't like the visual that is, uh, that is in front of my eyeballs right now. I would like to call for help. I would like to phone a friend. Alright, nobody got poisoned, that's good. Nah, I'll just take it out. <laughs> He's spitting up beans, yeah. Oh, he's so much less dangerous if you assume they're beans. Then he's just a weirdo. Alright, here we go. And then probably key? Where does this go? Oh, this is a... Uh... Okay, so this is just a shortcut we've opened up. Understood. You had refried beans earlier. You ever just have fried beans? Maybe they're fine the first time. Maybe maybe they're fine without having to fry them a second time. Maybe maybe that's just weird. I don't like how zoomed out this night is. <laughs> a night. It's holding nothing. Understood. Let's give him a spear. We gave the spear. Now what? Concentrate. They're asking us to pray again. I can't pray with Akiko, though. Akiko's only got one prayer point left. So we have to do this with somebody else. Let's have Kazuo pray. Oh, I only have 13 on Kazuo. All right, tell you what. We need to get into an encounter. We need to get into a battle, and we need to use a tonic so that we can get everybody nice and healed. Do you get softlocked if you don't have enough prayer points? If you are also out of tonics at the time? Yes. I don't think there's encounters in this room. Oh, Asuka's definitely got enough. Let's just get a big, thick prey. Big, meaty prey going! Yes! Yo, dank art from Anne? I'm scared to click on, I'm not gonna lie. A little scared. <laughs> that is really good. That's very... It's very good dank art. Alright, so we did it. Lightning broke the window. The wall fell! I cannot recommend Anne K's Dank Art enough. It's a very good Twitter follow if you're a fan of Dank Welcome Art and or old games. Get ready. She streams as well. Very good, very good dank old game streams. I've never seen somebody more in love with the MSX. <laughs> You stream beans? You stream bean-based video games? That's the dream right there. Taro got poisoned! Alright, now we'll use a tonic, now that everybody's here. Good. Taro is poisoned, though. Use our first aid kit. We have to get... There we go. Yo, Kari Allen, thank you for the host! Okay, so now everybody's nice and healed up. 300 HP each. Everyone's got like 100-something prayer points. We're doing all right. We're doing pretty all right for ourselves. 
Rocks blocked away. No, Emmy's doing fine. Emmy's got 300 again. Emmy's A-OK, -okay, don't you worry. Nobody's dying on our watch. We gotta mallet these rocks away. Uh, we need the vacuum as well. It's another grave! Is that what he's doing? Is he, like, popping out of the grave? And that's why he's... so low on the screen. <laughs> nice. Yeah, he's just perpetually barfing. It's fucked up. Alright, so we need the lighter and probably the key here. There's the lighter. Uh, key. Perfect. We're doing it, chat room. We're gaming. A skeleton. Don't give up, skeleton. GAS! <laughs> in all caps. That's what he said before he died. He just wrote GAS in blood on the wall. Maybe it was all those beans that took him out. We've got a rope here. We've got another tonic. We have a knife flying towards us! Oh shit! Duck the knife! We did it. Flawlessly dodged. Oh, is this the generator? Is the generator right here? Switch it on! Nothing happened. You know why? It's because we're out of gas! We gotta find some gas for it! Ah, shit. Most enemies in this game are capable of, uh, dishing out some kind of status ailment. It's, it's a real problem. Especially if Akiko happens to be the one that gets hit by it. There may come a point where we have to just save constantly. Because there are gonna be some enemies later on that are capable of, uh, stunning Akiko in such a way that we can't save, uh, we can't get her back. <laughs> If anybody else gets hit with that, we'd be fine, but not her. But we're not to that point yet. Once we get there, we'll probably just have to save a whole hell of a lot. Yo, what's up, Emmy? I can't believe Emmy leveled up as soon as she walked into the chat. How does she do it? Oh, there's another... There's another building. Yeah, these are the default names. They are almost correct with the movie. The only name that is incorrect... Whoops, I have split from the team. The only name that's incorrect is Taro, because they did not have enough room to fit the word Taguchi. Uh... Here we go. soundtrack is very intense, I agree. It is a Capcom game on the NES, though. Some of the best NES soundtracks tend to, tended to belong to, like, Capcom or Konami. Ooh! 
pickaxe, another old sword. I don't think that's better than any of this stuff, though. Uh... Hmm. Nah, we'll leave it. How can you tell what's better? You can't, really! So we have to take out this enemy, and then we immediately have to dodge that ghost afterwards. Because there's ghosts in this room! <laughs> Asuka's stunned! We gotta pray some more! And Akiko is poisoned. This is a disaster. There we go. Alright. No harm done. We dodge the ghosts. There's a still another ghost. Are we are we safe? Are we clear? I think we're clear. There's another mallet, but you never need two of them at the same time. <gasps> That's the gas we need. Okay. Uh Shit. <laughs> Does anybody have room for this? Alright. We will leave. We will leave a tonic here. Because we have a fuck ton of them anyway. Yet no more pocket space. Jesus Christ! Ray Cat Who Dad! Oh shit! Someone got stunned again. Ray Cat Who Dad gifted 20 subs. How can you do this to me? You were at my daughter's wedding. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much, Ray Cat. I walked two steps. Video game. All right. Now run it back. Run the set. I suppose we might as well check how close we are to another emote then. Let me get out of this fight first. Yeah, old school encounter rates are in effect. It kind of works out though because we need the experience points anyway. Uh, let me check. Oh god. No, stop. We might already have another emote. Stop it! Akari Allen, thank you so much! Right, hold on. Let me see here. Welcome to the family, what do we Get need? Ready. What was it, like 800? I think we're... I think we're like 24 away? <laughs> yeah, I remember Katharis. All right, so we gotta use the gas on the generator. Pour the gas into the generator. And then we... This is why we can't say it out loud, chat room. Let this be... There's a valuable lesson here. You can't say the number out loud, because then somebody will immediately do the thing. Raycat Hudet has thrown 30 more subs into the void and they've just landed on random members of the chat room. I cannot in a million years thank you enough. I'm pretty sure we got another emote slot. <laughs> so we turned on the generator finally. The lights are on! We can see things! We already didn't know how to fill some of the emote slots we already had. <laughs> We've got a whole other one. Uh, what am I doing? No, call for help. Call for help always. Here we go. Welcome to the family. Get ready. Dino Tanuki, isn't that just all of our cheer motes? Don't we just have five different Rockies for bit emotes? Let's 
get everybody out of the garden. Shit ain't safe. Do we have a rip emote? I feel like we have about five emotes that already imply suffering. <laughs> but the closest one is probably Dino Cooked. Yeah, Dino Cooked, Dino Berry. Taro is poisoned. There's always somebody poisoned! Can't have shit in this house. Nope, not, not tonic. There we go. Okay. So the lights are on. That's all handled. Yeah, we have a rope. This used to be a worm stream. Yeah. <laughs> That's a spooky ghost. That was a big one. You know, we're gonna call for help, but we definitely don't need it. Yeah, the first aid kit is very much bottomless, mercifully. We are not making it. We're, we are absolutely not gonna get there in time. used to be tweets of fighting game bugs. Those are still around. Although, I'm pretty content to retweet other people's as well, because a lot of people send their own fighting game jank to me, and I'm happy to retweet that. Uh, I think we gotta go to the second floor. How do you finish this game? We gotta get to the bottom of the, the secret of this haunted mansion. We have to finish our job docu uh, making this documentary. And then we gotta get the hell out. Because we're currently sealed in. That is obviously not what we want. Yeah, we just gotta get to the end. Lucky for us, we're already getting to the point of the game where... Fights are pretty doable. Fights are very manageable. So now that the lights are on, we should be able to go this way. Fatal Bracer Saul, thank you for the host. You were gifted a sub five minutes ago. You weren't even here. As far as I can tell, at least lately, nobody's, uh, nobody's safe in the chat room. Just for- you could get gifted a sub at any time. Just nobody is safe. Is this a good time to save? Yeah, probably. You're probably correct. Let's do that. <laughs> Those are some big boys! A suit of armor. Let's call in some backup. Fifty seven damage. Whoop! Oh, he's still alive, is he? All right, time to pray. <laughs> oh, it's a tonic over there. All right, well, now I don't feel bad about fighting them. Are we Dark Souls now? Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Uh, call, and then pray, and then fuck it, probably pray some more. He wants his spear back. Yeah, we stole it from him. 
Do we have any empty room? Uh, any empty slots? Yes, we do. Perfect. At least now the lights are on in this joint. There's a cat! Incredible. I love him. Look at him. Perfect. A beautiful boy. Anyway. A wide chasm. Too wide, in fact. This chasm that we're looking at is two tiles wide, which means that we cannot use wood. We cannot use a wooden plank to get across. Situations like this, you have to use the rope. And you will just rope across. There's a courtyard below. This giant hole we're looking at leads to a courtyard. It's very suspect mansion design. So Akiko has to go on her own for a bit, because now we've got to- wait, no, not Akiko. Who's got the rope? Who has the rope? Uh, Asuka's got the rope, so we'll switch to Asuka. We'll have Asuka split up, rope back across, grab the other team, and then we can get everybody that way. This would be easier to do if we just had two ropes, one on each team. But we can make this work like this. <laughs> there we go. Now we got everybody across. Let's unfuck this team. Perfect. Everybody is back where they're supposed to be. Save the game. <laughs> two pegs. A rope won't work. So we have to get down from this point somehow. There is a... There, there, we have to figure out how to get down there, because we can't jump. Can't jump it. Yeah, two pegs seems like way too many pegs, if I'm being honest. That's the wall, brother! Get me out. No, get me out. Bring in the boy. Perfect. Um... <laughs> There's a new emo- I don't- I don't know about that. It's the wall. We need to pray, probably. We're not doing much damage without praying. Understood. Prayer-based offense, ahoy. I understand. Beware. Four steps and you will be trapped. See this floor? See this weird-looking floor we're uh, uh, that's in this room? The floor is sticky here. He's telling the truth. You can take four steps for free. You can take four steps for free on the sticky floor. If you take a fifth step, that character gets stuck, and the only way to get them back is to use somebody else to go and grab them. You lose control of whoever gets stuck. You can take precisely four steps. There's a pickaxe over there. One, two, three. Okay, we'll just count them out as we go. There's a diary. The diary is locked! Uh, one, two, three, four. A fifth one would get us stuck, but thankfully there's safety here. What's the note say? No, it gets reset every time you, uh, Reach safety again, Zio. I discovered something terrible. Lock the diary and hide the key in- Oh no! The most important part is torn! The hell was in that diary chat room? What are they trying to hide? Mm. 
Man. Let's call for help. Why would a man... Why would one singular man... ...be of any danger to us? Why is he here? That's why. That ain't a man! One, two, three! One, two, three! Okay. There's a fresco! There's a fresco in the goo! In the Nickelodeon slime! The courtyard reach with... Hung on two pegs! What does that mean, Takashi? Look at the fresco. Alright, we gotta vacuum it first. What has this fresco got to say? My wife killed our child by accident. This is a very important plot point. It's also probably why this game never got localized. This game has some content in it that would have made it problematic to bring overseas. Uh... I want that sword. It's probably a super good sword. We gotta go down and around. This is how we have to do it. What is it? It's a long sword. It's probably the best weapon we've seen so far. Let's get rid of this rune spear for the long sword. Get out of the sticky juice. One, two, three... Another man! The <laughs> content! <laughs> this game contains scenes. Uh, one, two, three. Uh, uh, uh. Was, is the axe good? We never looked. It's a silver axe. I don't think we've had a silver axe yet. Or... No, they do. Yeah, silver axe and club. What is the worst weapon we're holding? It's probably the rune axe at this point. Let's swap that out for the silver axe. And the pick. There's a pickaxe over there, but I don't think we need it just yet. On the other hand, yeah, the ship is pretty decent. It's pretty all right. And the... we do need a pickaxe. We do need that pickaxe. We might have to use a tonic to make room. Wait. No, we don't. I don't think we need the flashlight ever again. I think we're done with the flashlight. I think we never use the flashlight again. So let's, uh... Let's try and just... Let's get rid of it. Oh no. The wall is back. Thankfully, there was no effect. <laughs> the wall is here to watch the stream. Okay. We're tossing the flashlight. We have a pickaxe now. And if we ever need... If we ever need the flashlight again, somebody make a note to that. The flashlight is in the diary room. <laughs> it's just if we ever need that flashlight again, somebody keep that in mind. <laughs> There's another pickaxe. Oh no! Oh, we gotta dodge this! Uh, 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 we're gonna duck it. Ducking was the incorrect choice. Yep, 
Yeah, this, uh, this game is very heavy on just kind of forcing you to remember where you left shit. Yeah, we got stabbed. Technically, you got stabbed, because that was, uh, that was Kazuo and Emmy that just got stabbed. You hate to see it happen. What's written on the wall here? Takashi, you can walk on sticky floors with boots. Pull out stuck friends. They even got like a little NES heartbeat when you unlock doors. <laughs> Whoa, we're outside. Look at this balcony. There's a note on the balcony. A note with fresh ink. This was written recently. To those who follow, the diary key is hidden. A clue is in the basement. You must escape this house of residing evil. <laughs> they couldn't resist. The translators could not resist making this joke. This is meant for us. They did it. They did it. They made a joke. I get it. <laughs> I'm almost positive that wasn't the line originally. They just couldn't help themselves. Statues. This bronze statue. Yeah, we are Chungus Khan. There are two translations for this game. I'm pretty sure both of them make that same joke, though. A ghost! Okay, we shimmied the ghost. The shmovement. <laughs> There's a doll here. The doll does not speak to us. How about you? Pick wouldn't have been washed away. We do have a pick, thankfully. Okay. Let's get the other squad in here. Or at least let's try to. We almost got there. <laughs> yeah, they don't differentiate between wood types. Thankfully, I think we're past the point where we need wood for stuff. Like, I don't think we need wood for anything else. Society has evolved beyond the need for wood at this stage of the game. Pretty sure we never need the flashlight again either, that's why we tossed it. There's a key. Maybe we should go through the door that's already open, though? Maybe we should go this way, because it's already open. Somebody is making... Yeah! He's <laughs> making a whole lot of noise! Call for backup. Yeah, it was a very big suit of armor. He wanted us dead. As soon as we take this dog out, we gotta fight the... We gotta fight the armor, too. But we'll be glad we did, because we need the experience. Can you get a second encounter as you go to help? I don't think so, thankfully. Mercifully. That would have been a very impressive feat of programming, though. Who's got a lot of prayer points? We'll use some prayer points, but only on characters that have a bunch of prayer points. That'll have to do. 122 damage, because we prayed. 
Oh no, I hear more. I hear more armor suits. Does the skeleton speak? Skeleton with a note. Coffin in the basement! Is this from the diary? Is that where? So that's the missing page of the diary, then. What did the diary say? That the, uh... What is... I already forgot what the diary said. Something was hidden. We gotta find a coffin in the basement. It's very... It's very important. Oh, is this the door we unlocked? Okay, cool. Understood. Yo, what's up, Goaty? We're playing spooky games today! The hole. Ladder! No. Rope ladder. We gotta find a rope ladder. It's actually a step ladder. The classic Ace Attorney. Classic Ace Attorney argument. Is it a ladder or a step ladder? We'll never know for sure. Find a ladder, combine it with the rope, yeah. Level ups! Okay. We definitely gotta save. Because these are some of the enemies that can get us uh, soft locked. <laughs> these are some of the enemies that can create huge problems by. Uh, I think they can curse Akiko and she can't uncurse herself because we can't control her to use her first aid kit. The only way around that would be to find the replacement item for her first aid kit. That's the only way around that problem. Now is not a terrible time to use a tonic, I think. Everyone's got like 500. We're doing all right. Level 8, level 9, level 9, level 9, level 8. So Kazuo and Emmy are slightly behind. How can there still be more suits of armor around? How can this be real? I hear them. I don't see them, but I hear them. What is this? There's a soul sword! I want that soul sword. Let's swap the club out. Man! We don't need no help for this. Get, let's get this team up there, too. Yeah, we defeated man. Just the one. Just the one man. There's a door here. Ghosts. Oh, no! Okay. <laughs> We're fine. A note. Enter the basement by the courtyard. Bring medicine. Not a good sign. Blood trails over to that door. Over to this door. Where does this go? Oh, hello! I have a plan. Let's, uh... <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> I was like, ah, we're about to need backup. <laughs> uh, this could be a, this could be a problem. Cool. Yeah, the house said nope.
dodge the spooky ghosts. Collect this? What is this? No, the rune spear is bad. We don't need the rune spear. So these boots will allow us to walk around on the sticky floor, but we really don't need them. They're not necessary. We can we can make do without having to bother. This guy is just kind of perfectly in the way. Fuck it. We gotta do it. It's the only way to get rid of him. He demands you see his dance, yeah. There's the Emmy level up. Yeah, you missed a little bit. our ladder. Uh, what can we make room with? Mm -hmm. We need the mallet. We definitely need the pick. We don't need the candle. We turn the light on. I don't think we ever use a candle again. Let's just leave a candle there. If we already turned on the lights, I'm pretty sure... We'll never need another one, but I could be wrong. It's the ladder for the courtyard. So these things can be a huge problem if they happen to flash Akiko specifically. And it's one of the reasons we're definitely going to have to save after this battle. Okay. Argue the game does a better job telling the story than the movie. I can't disagree with that. There was a... Yeah, what was this? It's a heavy axe! Hold on. Uh... Get rid of the shiv for the heavy axe. All right, fair enough. <laughs> the movie. The movie is a slow burn. That's the best way I can describe it. Because the movie is like, what? It's like two hours long or something. I think it takes a little while for it to... I think it takes a little while for the spooks to happen in the movie. It's a little bit of a slow burn. Oh no. Alright, sick! Can't handle spookums for two hours. You are, uh, you're in for you're in for a doozy of a stream. Then there's a sword here. Another soul sword. What is the worst thing we're holding? Probably the silver X. Probably. That feels right. That feels good. Yeah, it's already been two hours. Oh no! The wall is back! We gotta, we gotta hope we don't get flashed. Alright, so, Taro got flashed. It says that Taro is too scared right now. We gotta talk about the fear status ailment and why this can be an enormous problem. So, Taro is currently afflicted by fear. If you get... If you get scared in battle, you can take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten steps. And then the curse kicks in. If somebody on your team gets cursed, you cannot control them 
until you use the first aid kit, and then their fear ends. Which sounds fairly harmless, but for every second that goes by while they're being cursed, they will lose one hit point. So if Akiko is not nearby, you're about to you're about to lose a lot of health. And what's worse, if Akiko happens to be the one who gets cursed, you got no way to save them unless you have the replacement item, which could just be somewhere in the mansion. I don't think we've found it yet. So there's gonna be a lot of saving involved. It's gonna be a lot of saving so that we can avoid that exact situation. We never want Akiko to be the one that gets scared. We're basically fucked if that does happen. Whoop. He has a dog. It's not friendly, though. It's not the friendliest dog I've seen. So now we got the ladder, which means we can go this away. Brand new, brand new area. Please don't, Dick Debonair. We, uh, we already got a new emote slot. There's, there's nothing else, there's nothing else to get today. Use the ladder. There we go. That ladder sprite. More importantly, though, we freed up inventory space. Hyper-valuable inventory space. <laughs> yeah, I could do with less walls, not gonna lie. Kazuo is too scared. We're getting lucky, they're not hitting Akiko with that. Uh, that was Kazuo. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten steps. Perfect. I think we're getting bodied by the encounter rate right now. Good old, good old, old RPG encounter rates. Do you have to make the curse begin before you can cure it? Yes. Yo, Dick Debonair gifted a tier one sub to an adorable stray cat! You've gifted 219 subs! Slow down! That's too fast! Yeah, you are not allowed to cure the curse in advance. Because if we were, it would be fairly harmless. Instead, it's a potential soft lock every time. <laughs> Note, the basement entrance is close. The low key is under the memorial tower. We have heard about another key. Finally, there's a second key that's not Emmy's key. Does everyone need to live to beat the game? No. You can get by with... I think if you take... I think you have to take at least two people into... the final battle. If you're down to one person at the start of the final battle, you've already lost. So you have to take at least two people into that fight. But even in the fight, everyone's allowed to die except one person, and you'll get, like, the, uh, the one person survives ending. Yo, glad you like the raccoon emotes, Chibi. We've got a lot of those. This bronze statue. We cannot push the statue. Emmy is the key holder. Emmy is the key holder and the daughter of Kazuo, the guy with the lighter. Kazuo is the leader of this documentary team.
Alright, so we've got some... Help! Stop the water! Push the statue! Yeah, that person telling us to stop the water. We heard from a skeleton earlier that we needed a pick to not get washed away by currents. So if we use the pick, which is just a pickaxe, by the way, somehow we can step in this water just fine without getting pushed all the way across the screen. We can then use the mallet to break these uh, statues that are pouring the water. Is it possible to grind in this game? Yeah, but since there's only a limited number of healing items in the game, it's not really something you want to do. Be brave! No body in the memorial. Is he saying that there's no body in it, or that there's nobody in it? Must have been dug up. So foolish. I guess it's both then. Also a rope here. I guess we have room for it. Why not? It is nobody home. We need to vacuum this. Swap teams. How can you do this to me, Capcom? It is interesting to see, though, how many concepts from this game were carried over into Resident Evil. Given that, given that Resident Evil was just going to be a remake of Sweet Home, it is interesting to see how many mechanics, or how many concepts and mechanics survived the transition from Sweet Home to what was then an original IP Resident Evil. Get a classic door animation. What's in here? It's not just the door animation, though. It's like the limited inventory space, the limited healing items. Just the fact that we're walking around in a giant mansion, it's all very similar. There's a good reason for that, though. We do need this log. We need all the logs we can carry. At least you can save on the spot, yeah. Could you imagine if we needed, like, ink ribbons in this shit? When we already have no room for- oh, we can get rid of this candle. We've already got no room for things. Could you imagine if on top of that we needed ink ribbon, uh, ink ribbons to save? Lighter on the rope. And then we have to vacuum this glass. Shit! Oh, hello! It's a maniac! Oh no. Oh, I don't like him. Oh, I don't like him! Woo! 70 damage. How about no? Nay, I say. Less of that, please. 50 experience, though. That's pretty good. Alright, vacuum. The mirror itself is attacking us. Will there be a point at which you have to be strong enough to fight something? Yes. That's why we're not running. <laughs> This game does have some hard level caps for certain bits of it. There are instances in the game where you have to be a certain level because the game will require you to do a strong enough prey to do a thing. And if you can't do a strong enough prey, then you gotta level up until you can. So we can use the mallet to smash all the mirrors in here. Some of them have things behind them.
but every mirror is also a fight. So we have to fight every mirror before we can smash it. <laughs> that's good box art. It's just the, uh, that's the, this is the art for the film. It's just, it's the box art for the game as well. <laughs> Okay. There we go. Mirror flashed. No effect, thankfully. It's just cheating. Considering that the considering the film and the game came out at the same time, it's it's fine. It's totally okay. They released together. Smash the mirror. Smash this mirror as well. I don't like his face, though. I don't like the mirror's face. Don't like the face he's making. He's pogging. You know, I wasn't gonna bring that up. Wasn't gonna bring that up, but yeah. <laughs> one of these mirrors has a fucking hidden door behind it. It might be this one up here. doing it. We're gaming! There's a fountain! We can look at it. Amazing. It still flows. The fountain still works. Will you drink? Chat room. Should we hydrate? I think we should probably... I think we should probably hydrate. Oh, that's some good stream juice, actually. Ooh! Alright. Cool and refreshing. Oh, no. A voice booms. Heh <laughs> Fools! You drank the blood of my victims! Sooner or later, your blood will flow. And then all the liquid in this room is red now. I think we just drank blood, chat room. You hate to- you hate to see it happen. Lucky for us, we're not penalized for that in any way. What do we got in here? Oh, we got a fresco! We haven't seen a fresco in a while. Blood will melt. Aged bronze. So we've got a broom in here. This item right here is a broom. Were Asuka to die, the broom would be the replacement for her vacuum. And these matches would be the replacement for Kazuo's lighter. Here's the problem with that. It's nice that these kind of items are in the game, just in case those characters die, but... Not only do you lose two inventory slots... ...from that character dying, but you also lose a third inventory slot, because now you have to hold the matches, too. So it's very not great for somebody to die in this game. It's very not great. We'll leave a tonic here, because we need these logs. You know what? We need this log, too. We need all the logs! Yep, 
Yeah, living is very good. That's the that's the lesson here. Bane shot fire. Yeah, the game becomes more inconvenient when characters die. <laughs> There's a doll here! We cannot interact with it in any way. Of course we can't. We got a pail. We need the pail. We absolutely need this pail. We'll leave another tonic. We're just leaving healing items all over the place. That's what we're doing. Back to the fountain. We're going to use the pail on the fountain because we just heard that blood can melt aged bronze you'd think that would mean the statue in the middle of the fountain itself but what it's actually referring to is this green statue this one is different from the rest of them because it's aged so we use our pail of blood on it and we give her to the statue this is the one and only time we ever need the pail so we're gonna get rid of it we're gonna pick this log up. Now we have fucking eight million logs. We just have a fuck ton of logs in our inventory, which is great, because we need them all. Here it is. This is the, uh, these are the pills. If Akiko were ever to get incapacitated in such a way that we cannot control her, we would have to have somebody else carrying these pills so that they can use the pills on Akiko. That is the only way to get around that particular problem. And we still don't have room for them, so we're not gonna take them. Pipe. Is a pipe? Is this a is this a weapon? Can I trade out my axe for a pipe? I cannot. It counts as a regular item. Ooh, ooh, we're outside. We're on the lake. Oh no! It's a ghoul! Oh, I don't like him. Oh, this game is super red. Ghoul swings for 45 damage. That is a good face, I agree. Damn, he survived all of that? Another round. The lesson here is pray then when these show up. Yeah. It would take two rounds of attacking to kill him, so... We'll just make sure we pray... There's an axe right there. I need gloves to get by. We take damage there unless we have gloves. Understood. <gasps> There's gloves. Okay. So here's what we gotta do. If only I had a bridge. This is why we've been holding all these logs. The logs are only used on the lake screen to bridge these gaps. I don't think there's a step limit to them either. I think it's, uh... I think those are permanent. So we got gloves now. We should be able to get through those thorns without taking damage. Oh no. It's a corpse! By the dictionary definition of the word corpse, I have to disagree. He's very much not a corpse. Corpse glared. Thankfully, it didn't do anything. Yeah, we're getting recolors. Listen, there's only so much space on an NES cartridge. <laughs> there's only so much space. You gotta make shit work. Uh, no. Wrong team. Wrong squad. Gloves. Use the gloves. I got no room for the other shit. 
We will leave the... Uh, we'll leave the pickaxe here. We have to remember to grab this pickaxe on the way out. We gotta remember to bring that with us. The axe is used for these barriers, these wooden barriers. Pile of wood. Piles of wood block the way. Another log goes here, I suspect. But I don't have the logs on that team. Gotta bring this team over. Oh no, he's back. Yeah, that axe is different from the rest of them. It's not clear from a glance, because I'm pretty sure they use the same sprite as all the weapon axes. 72 damage, that is fucked. Cool. Not too bad. Leans more towards body horror. Yeah, there's a little bit of that. There's a bit of that in the movie, too. Yeah, it's very true to the movie. It is worth mentioning! Asuka got cursed. Okay. That's something we can fix, at least. It's not a key go, so I don't really care. Curse, if I'm not mistaken, reduces a character's prayer points by one every step they take. Which is not great, but at least it doesn't... Uh, it does not wrest control away from that character. You can still use them. Use the gloves. Yo, it's Chickabo resubscribed for three whole years. Be brave! Don't break it. We need more logs. It's a three-year combo, yeah. These I don't want to see. I could do with less of those! I don't have gloves. I only got one pair of gloves. The other team's just gonna have to hold this damage as they go by. Man, that shit hurt it. <laughs> yeah, they really got it out for Emmy, it would seem. If it gets too bad, we'll have to use another tonic, but we will hold out for as long as we can without doing that. Use another log. This is not where I use the log. Is it... Do I use it upwards? You want me to go this way with it? That doesn't seem... In that doesn't seem correct, but... It worked. Ow, 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 Okay, we're fine. Only one team is safe <laughs> from thorn damage, because there's only one set of gloves. This lake is where we learn some crucial plot points. Taro got poisoned. It's a good way to instill fear through game mechanics, I think, to have a lot of characters that can do, or have a lot of enemies that can inflict status ailments. I think there's just an inherent level of stress involved with that. We need another log there. Boats for two! Only two. The boats are only for two. This team cannot grab a boat. We can use our last log, though. We can use our last log to go this way. Yeah, 
lots of party management. Tell you what, what if we just fucking, like, triple pray here? Perfect. <laughs> oh, I don't have the axe. The other team's got the axe. No, get over there. How far are we? We're decently far. Uh, I can reasonably say we're about halfway through it. F light, Jinbi. We already tossed our flashlight. We left our flashlight in the. Where did we leave that? I think we left it in the diary room. We might need that flashlight again. <laughs> At some point. Should be fine, though. We definitely don't need it here. Yeah, he's a little vomity, isn't he? A... Yes! Yeah, the flashlight was where we left the diary. I know where that is. Get on the boat. Get on the boat, you two. Sick! Look at this goofy boat! Incredible. There's a shovel. Do we even have room for a shovel? Rope, gloves, mallet, axe. Uh... Had a really great time, so glad to learn about this. Yeah, this game is a big recommend if you're a fan of, like, any kind of, any, any, any vaguely spooky game. This one's a big recommend. Just keep in mind that it's very easy to put the game into an unfixable losing scenario. If you can, if you're okay with that, you'll have a great time. This looks pleasant. The memorial tower. Is the baby buried here? Remember what the diary said? Or remember what that fresco said? Ichiro, uh, Ichiro, the painter whose mansion this is. The wife accidentally killed the baby. Is this where the baby is buried? The earth looks soft and loose. Oh, that's probably what the fucking shovel is for. Hold on. I don't think we need the axe ever again. I think we're done with the axe. Oh, God. We can't call for help over here! Can't call for help on this island we're on. Do we double pray? Should we double pray? I think we should. Okay, sick, he died. Let's try that again. <laughs> Is the baby buried here? Let's find out. You dig, but you can't focus. We cannot dig well, because we can't focus, which means we've got to do a special prey dig. This is going to have to be a thick-ass focus. I think this one has to be, like, 50 prayer points. That better work. You dig furiously! The tower crumbles. Something is inside. The basement low key. All right. We found the key to the basement. Notice that we did not find a baby. Held that baby go chat room. So we never need the shovel again, or do we? No, I think we do need the shovel a second time. What we don't need is the gloves. We're done with the gloves. We'll leave the gloves there. Yeah, we're gaming, Calcifer. 
We're gaming so goddamn hard right now. Is there a dock around here somewhere? That's about as close as we can get. And these three are just gonna have to hoof it. This is gonna suck. Yep. Don't mind me, just getting hit by every thorn in the forest. Where is that baby? That's true. That's the question, isn't it? Where is the baby? Oh, we need the pickaxe again. Oh, we have so much room now, because we had to use all those logs. We got so much room for shit. Yeah, boats are two seats only. Did I check out Ant Stream? I have not. Should, uh, DM it to me. I'll, I'll get back to you. It's probably a smart idea to take pills with us, yeah. I feel like we should. I feel like we probably should bring the pills just in case Akiko ever gets <clears throat> hit with some shit that we can't recover from. We should grab the pills. It's the smart thing to do. That is the smart boy play, so we're just gonna do it. Does anybody have a tonic? Cool. Let's heal up. Let's get into a fight. And then we'll call the other team, and then we will use a tonic, and then everybody will be healed up at the end of the fight. Everybody will be A-OK. -okay. We're gonna have to take this hit first, though. Okay, sick. Let's get everybody back to full. We have to- you have to- you have to stagger your tonic usage throughout the game. You're not allowed to use them that frequently. I don't think there's any encounters in this room. Yeah, he's very bubbly. We're doing good, though. Level 11. 11. 11. 11. Sick. I think by the end of the game, everyone has to be on, like, 16. I think you have to be on at least 16 to beat the game. What did you do? Who is this man? <laughs> Somebody was just waiting for us. The low key. Great. Follow me. I'll show you the basement. Hurry up. Who the fuck? We're not allowed to use our menu here. We're not allowed to. We're not even allowed to pause the game right now. We have to follow this man. Name's Yamamura, and we're all in the same fix. We're not the only people in this mansion. What happened here? Give me a sec. Oh, what an asshole. Look at him pushing these statues. Lady Mamiya was at peace, but some clown dug up her baby. Now she's in an uproar to find her child. Baby's body's supposed to be in the basement, but nobody can find it. The baby was buried on that island. And ever since it's been dug up... Ever since it's been dug up, this, uh... Mom ain't been too happy. And she's been haunting the place! I'd like to know myself. Dead end? <laughs> Apparently not. He's such a badass, he can just rip a hole in the wall. But to start, we ought to find that baby. Come on. Yeah, notice how far away he takes you. The entrance is around here somewhere. And then he gets fucking destroyed by that statue. was quick. I didn't have much time to get attached to this character before he got cooked. Now we can use our menus and shit, though. Uh, we gotta get... We gotta get Kazuo 
back to safety. Hold on. Wait. Wait, hold on. Oh, shit. We're running from this one. <laughs> no, I don't think so. No, I disagree. Oh, we failed to run. Kazuo got poisoned. Oh, shit. This is bad. Alright, let's call for help. Here we go. Yeah, gang is on the way. That was the wrong way, though. Gonna have to do this this way. Kazuo got cursed and poisoned. It's even better. Ah, right, we made it. <laughs> He's cursed, though, so Akiko's got to use the first aid kit. All right. Emmy's still way over here, though. We gotta get these two together. This is also a bad idea. <laughs> but we gotta get our teams back. Sick. Okay. The balance has been restored. Yeah, good thing first aid kits can cure curses. What about the poison? I think we cured it at the same time we cured the curse. I think it's I think we I think we hit them both at the same time. Now Emmy got cursed. Curse is fairly harmless, thankfully. Like, it's not hard. It's not hard to fix. Yeah, we'll take the bow. Because we've got some empty space for items. Haven't seen a fresco in a while. Vacuum the fresco. Camera the fresco. Use at the site with four stones. Use what at what? Yeah, it's a very precise, it's a very small, precise vacuum, Calcifer. It's actually in the movie, as far as I'm aware. Like a, like a little tiny vacuum they use to clean paintings with. Yo, what's up, Barfy? Oh shit, where am I going? Nope, nope, nope. Reconnect. Am I playing this NES horror RPG on a fight stick? I'm sorry, I'm not taking questions at this time. It's open to interpretation. I might be. I might not be. We'll never know for sure because there's no face cam. Oh, hello! Oh, shit. Somebody got run over by that boulder. <laughs> I think Ty, I think it was Taro. I think he got hit. What is this? What do we have? It's a long sword. Yo, Zio with the. No, Zio got gifted a sub by Dick Debonair. Did you just want 220 subs? Did you? Is that a cleaner number to you? Thank you so much, Dick Debonair. Uh, I don't think we need this weapon. Yeah, I know, it's a fuck ton of subs, man. Another corpse! Corpses! Oh no. It says Appleshine just subscribed, but Appleshine gifted a tier one sub to Aquatic9900. Emmy got poisoned. Look out, King Graham. A poisonous snake! 
Okay. Ah, shit, we gotta play King's Quest at some point. I just got myself in a King's Quest mood by saying that. <laughs> When Emmy got poisoned, she left the team, so it's just Kazuo by himself! I understand. I understand. Emmy, get your ass back over here. You King Graham, look out! Wasn't a... <laughs> he just get punched by a bear and die in that game. You just, you can get cold cocked by a bear, uh, by a bear. It's awesome! Uh, does this open with a key? Yes. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this is the bit where we have to send in... These rooms are tricky because these rooms require us to send in Taro alone due to the way the obstacles in the room work. I'll explain, explain that in greater detail when we get in. Well, it's because there's frescoes in there, Bob, so you'd have to bring the camera. Emmy got poisoned again. Oh no. Did you leave the team again? Why does poison make you leave the team? Okay, uh... Switch to Taro. Disband from the group. Save the video game. What do you got? You got the fire extinguisher. You need the... You need the bow, is what you need. Grab the bow from Akiko. Here we go. There are frescoes in here. And there's items and shit. The problem is, if we try to approach the fresco... ...from a certain angle, or pretty much from any angle... The entire floor caves in like that, and would require you to save him with your other characters. Now that we've explained how that works... ...to load the video game. Because we gave him the bow that we needed to save him. <laughs> no, we gotta go in this other room first. We gotta go this way first. Oh yeah, death is permanent in this game. That's why there's gonna be frequent saves at certain points of this game. This room, I believe, is safe until you approach the fresco. Let's read the note. A note! Takashi, need the tool to go below. We're missing a tool of some sort. The swirling ghost in the room, it goes... Uh... It's worth mentioning, we'll just warp you away somewhere else in the building. So first we're gonna deal with this floor collapse. We're gonna examine the fresco, and then we're gonna let the ghost carry Taro away because there's no way back from this floor collapse. I have done my research, you are correct. Well, I've played this game before. <laughs> Wife killed a child for a playmate. Is the movie available to watch? I think the whole thing is on YouTube, like subtitled and everything. This is also very important, this fresco. I 
how many people died on your first time around. I think... I think it was just, uh... I think it was just Taro. <laughs> so we're gonna let him get ghosted. And then he ends up over here, which is not too far away. Have I played every retro game in existence? No. I mean, that's one of the reasons we're streaming, is there's so many more games! It would be easy to just play the same thing every stream. You know, it wouldn't be hard to do. It wouldn't be hard to have, like, a staple game that you stick to, but... I prefer to try and stream something different every stream. This room, we have to use the bow to go from post to post. Yeah, that's the only way to do that. We just barely dodged that ghost! We absolutely... <laughs> I don't know how we shimmied away from him. Another fresco. Yeah, nice move. That was a complete accident we dodged that. Melt the blue statue for a sign to the basement. Alright, get me out. Get me out of this room, though. Get me out, chief. Sick! There were other items in there. Honestly, those items are bait. I'm not gonna grab them because we're gonna get... Somebody's gonna get ghosted in the process, and I can't be bothered dealing with the separated party. <laughs> so. Yeah, just slide on out of that mess. We can push statues now. Just like Yamamura did. We now, uh, once we progress to this point of the video game, we can push statues. You're not explicitly told this at any point, but we can do that now. Taro got cursed! Of course he did! Can we fix that? Can we fix that real quick? Nice. There we go. And we push the statue into the blood because we learn that blood melts statues. And then we get the tool. This tool, it's, uh, I think it's more clear in the other translation of the video game. This is supposed to be an amulet. It's a very important amulet that we're never getting rid of. We're gonna hold on to this for the rest of the game. Of course, we've got no space for that, so we need to create space. Let's get rid of the rope for now. We'll leave a rope there. And, uh... Now I think we need to go... Now we gotta go to the ladder. We need to go to where to, we need to go to where we left the ladder earlier. <laughs> yeah! The real reason is, I suppose, the word amulet wouldn't have fit. Which can't possibly be true, because the word mallet is six letters, and that fits. So who knows? It's a mystery. Emmy got cursed. Is this guy a maniac because of a chronic acne problem? You might be right. Oh no. Uh, uh, we're ducking. Oh shit, we did not have enough time to select one. We gotta be faster on those. We can't, <laughs> we can't waste time thinking about it. Lighter. Yeah, 
gotta work on those reacts. I mean, really, we just gotta fucking pick one. We gotta pick one in a hurry. Uh, what am I doing? The lighter. I wanted to go in the room, Capcom! How can you do this to me? You know, I almost forgot these mirrors were a thing. Nice. A fresco! This is why it's helpful to have Taro and Asuka go everywhere together. Because there are situations where you need the vacuum and the camera at the same time, so I always have these two characters together. The statue. Back to a lake. I think we did this out of order. <laughs> it's the clean team. There's writing on the wall. Oh, hello! Shit. That deals damage if we step in it. Of course it does. Behind a mirror. I did in room. We definitely came here out of order. <laughs> I think we should take this tonic. What is this? Is a heavy axe. The heavy axe is probably better than the long sword. Or maybe it's not. I'm no longer certain. Let's just not mess with our weapons until we find some new ones new ones that we know will be better than the shit we're currently holding. We need to get back to where the ladder is, where we dropped the ladder to get down here in the first place. That is our current destination. Yeah, this room. That prey attack should kill the thing. So maybe we can just get there in time and get some of the experience points. It's gonna be close! Shit! Yeah. <laughs> Didn't quite get there fast enough. So we heard something earlier that we need to use the tool in between the four stones. This is the spot they are talking about. So we use the tool here. And a staircase appears. A brand new area. So now we're in the basement of the building. We're finally in the basement. We have been hearing about this basement for a hot second. And it's taken a while, but we're finally there. Which means this is a stellar time to save the video game before something horrible happens. <laughs> Uh, let's get the other team in here. Yeah, the legendary basement. But this is also a very problematic part of the game, because there's some enemies in here, not this one, that can eject your party from the battle. And whenever one of those enemies show up, we are, we are going to pray until they die. Hot basement jams. Cool. Okay. Uh, what the fuck are we doing? Let's go in the open room first. Somehow this room ain't trustworthy. Hold on. There's a ghost in there. I'd prefer not to get my party yoinked all over the place. Let's just quickly grab these items and go. Oh shit, the room's catching on fire. Alright, grab the mace. Alright, grab this fork. Grab the other fork. Oh shit! Wait, wait, oh, get, we're getting out. Oh no! Okay, we're fine. <laughs> Welcome to the bit where every room is rigged with a trap. Yeah, what a room. We got some new gear out of it! We were just talking about upgrading our weapons. We were just able to. So that's good.
Oh no. Vote for waifus is gifted a tier one sub to L is real 2401. It's true. L is real. But I suppose we always knew that. Deep in our hearts. Can I use a key here? This room is already on fire. Do I have a fire extinguisher? Traces of blood! No, we gotta send the other team. We gotta send the fresco team in this room. Put the fire out. We got a note, and we got wood, and we got another fire extinguisher. The diary key is in the coffin. So we've been hearing about this diary for a while. We finally have a location of sorts of where the diary key might be. Yeah, fire X. There's not enough room for a fire extinguisher. I'm badly wounded. Is this person still alive? Amazing! Fresco! Gotta clean the fresco. Use a camera on the fresco. Thought it was over after the suicide. So somebody committed suicide in this building. No, we need the wood. This fire we can't do anything about right now. Remind me to hydrate? You got it. I'm gonna hydrate live on stream just for you. I guess I also need a command for reminding me to save my game, but there's probably going to be a lot of games where I can't save them because they're either too short or don't have a save function. Presumably that'll be when people use it the most. I don't like the looks of this guy. This uh this enemy is a huge problem. Let's explain why this enemy is a huge problem. The Wraith is one of the enemies in the game that can blow party members away. They can be blown clean out of the battle, and they end up somewhere else in the mansion. Just fucking anywhere else. You don't know until you switch to them and see where the hell they ended up. These things suck. So when everyone does show up, we are going to spend our prayer points to get rid of them before they have a chance to do that. I need a new shovel to continue. Do I have one? Yes! <laughs> hey, stinking liar! Do I not? I thought I did. Is it not this team? Does the other team have the shovel? Ah, there it is. Another one. We can't call, because Kazuo and Emi are just a two-person team. If we... Have one of them called and we only get to pray once and then he gets an attack off, so we just have to double pray and hope he dies. Okay. Thankfully, he missed! He still got a turn, but he missed. How do you get more prayer points? You can use a tonic. You can use one of the 21 healing items in the game. Yeah, thankfully, he whiffed. Let's try this again. Let's give him a shovel. Do I have a shovel for him? Yes, I do. Great, here it comes. <laughs> I guess he hit like a water main. There's <laughs> just water everywhere now. The problem here is that he separates the entire party throughout this basement room. So now we need to we need to reunite. 
We have to reconnect. This is the very first strand-type game. Here we are. The statue's gone. Yeah, there used to be a statue right here. There's Emmy. Where is Akiko? That's not too far from where we are. Okay. Oh, no. Our best bet here is probably just to run and hope it works. Sick. Okay, uh, how do we reorganize this? Kazuo, you need to leave your current team. You need to... Kazuo and Emmy. And then you three. You three together. Okay, we're back. We're back in action, baby! What was this room? Oh no, this is where we swapped all our weapons out. This room, there was a statue in the way. We weren't able to go in there. It's a madman! Thankfully, the madman is fairly harmless. He doesn't have any really annoying attacks that yeet you out of the... the uh, out of the building. <laughs> Yo, what's up, demo man? We're knee deep, literally, in this flooded basement. Use the key. Sick. We're getting somewhere. You were almost in a Kiko sandwich. It's the flash knife. New weapon. Let's swap out Emmy's soul sword for a flash knife. There is something else over there. But we need... We have to pick up some wood. We have no wood for this! I think there was wood in the basement. Pretty sure there was wood down here. We gotta double pray. We gotta we gotta hope we get some thick ass praise here. 63, let's get another big one. Damn, he still survived. Kazuo flew away! Alright, let's see where Kazuo just ended up. Where are you at? He's in the fucking okay. We're in the diary room. Let's get back to where we were. Jesus Christ. That's not terrible, actually. That's not- that's not terribly far. Kazuo, you can take this dog. You can take this dog all by yourself. I believe in you. You can cook this dog, Kazuo. And then basement. And then just fucking back into the statue room. Wait! Was that wood outside? We need that wood. Emmy has an empty slot. Emmy's gotta grab it. Kazuo has the weakest weapon right now, yeah. Better not be a wraith. Oh, we're running. Oh, we're dipping. We're dipping, gamers. It didn't work. Let's try again. Ah, shit. Alright, Emmy flew away. Emmy is... Next to the statue. That's not terrible either, truth be told. But yeah, you can see the problem. You can see the problem with these enemies and why you really don't want to get bodied by them. The more, the farther you get into the game, the more frequent those kinds of enemies are. So it goes without saying that there's going to be a lot of saving so that we can avoid these kinds of situations. Alright, where are we this time? Yeah, we got blown away again. Wow, we haven't been this way in a hot minute. That was the wood from way earlier. All right. 
At least the enemies are gonna be super easy right here. Alright, it's time for Emmy's adventure. Here we go. The adventures of Emmy. <laughs> yeah, the Wraith really doesn't want us to grab that wood. And we need that wood, too. It's mandatory that we have that. Uh... Where the hell are we right now? I know, like, where spatially in the mansion this is, but I don't remember how to get to the... We gotta get to the courtyard. We get to the courtyard from the... Second floor, I think? Yo, what's up, Kuiper Frog? Get ready. I think we're gonna need a rope to get back. How frequently did we... How far ago did we save? It'd probably be faster to just back this up. Okay, so we saved right when the water broke. This probably be... This is the faster way to do it. <laughs> that would have taken a long time. Oh, there's wood there, too. We'll do it this way. We'll do it this way. Alright, I've got a big brain. I've got an action- I've got a big brain and yet very small brain play. We're gonna call for help twice here. We're gonna call Akiko and Emmy separately. So that they both have a chance to get in here. Here we go. That way we can gather everybody during the battle. We should have a Wraith emote! He does have a really good face for this. He's got a very... He's got a really... He's got a face that implies that he knows he's being a shithead. Let's grab that wood in advance this time. Here we go. Now we're gaming. I have parked my other team right on top of the door. <laughs> he does a really smug face. But yeah, rates are public enemy number one in this game. Just because they can yeet you just fucking somewhere else in the mansion. Sometimes it'll be a spot you can't get back from. Which is extra bad. Alright, flash knife. So we need that wood to grab that thing over there. Better not be a wraith. I understand. It's a wraith chat room. We got wraithed again. You better sit. There's gonna be an increasing amount of saves per minute. Alright, Akiko got yeeted somewhere. Where's she gone? This, that's not too bad at all. We can make this work. Pray it. Just pray the hound. Easy money. Was that ghost sperm? I'm sorry, I'm not taking questions at this time. It's about to be a wraith, ain't it? <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I'm seeing a pattern here, chat room. He missed! You fool! You missed!
We should probably save again. <laughs> uh, wood. Because we need this. This is the gem. It is truly outrageous. Do I live solo or do I live with my parents? Uh, the lore is I just live in a trash can that I'm streaming live out of a trash can right now. Okay, so we got the gem. Uh, we should probably save the game again. Yeah, somebody just threw in an arcade stick. It was really nice of them. Thankfully, he did not opt for the yeet attack. Alright. Yeah, Emmy did a shit ton of damage because Emmy prayed that turn. So this is the Akiko team, which means we get three hits in this turn. So if we just triple prey, this thing will die. Yeah. Triple prey, triple level up. Feels nice. <laughs> yeah, this game gets very rude to you, Demo Man. Once you get to about this point of the game, they decide that they don't want you to have fun anymore. It is time to suffer. <laughs> oh, hello! Skeleton! He's new. I feel... I don't feel safe regardless. Nope, he can also blow wind. Akiko flew away somewhere. Let's see where he went. Or, let's see where she went. So we're in the goo room. Again, that's not terrible. That's not, like, that far. Because the, the ladder is right here. And then this is, uh, the staircase is right there. Then we're right back in the basement. <laughs> yes, no bones! No, we're already back. We don't need to reload a save. Although we're about to get yeeted again, aren't we? We're about to get... Oh no, it's just a madman. Let's call the rest of the squad. Let's bring Taro and Asuka over so we can reunite the team. And then we can call the... No, I'd prefer the other three... Or I'd prefer the other two stay where they are. They're already really close to that door. Asuka's too scared, so Asuka's gonna get hit with uh, fear after the battle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten steps every time. Uh, we've got two rooms here. Yeah, we should save. Cruelty. A child skeleton. Welcome to the, uh... Yo, what's up, Daywolf? Welcome to the, uh... <laughs> Welcome to the we-can't-localize-this-room. <laughs> There's a note here! found this diary page. There's a page from the diary. The child fell into the incinerator. Insane. Lady Mamiya did the same to other kids. Yo, Big Bang. Big Bang resubscribed for 8,000 years in a row. Yeah, welcome to the lore room. This is the, uh, we're getting into the lore now. Takashi's very in. Takashi is very immature. That's an M, yeah? He's very immature. You must find Lady Mamiya's room. Check the second floor. 
just like us. We have to end this. It got immatured. You hate to you hate to see it happen. Oh no, I'm ducking. Professional gamer. Absolute professional gaming. Now let's see what this fresco says. The blue fire. Pray with the gem in hand. The blue fire was right out here. This is the blue fire they are referring to. We have to use the gem at it. This is what the gem is for. And the fire goes away. But that's still not enough because we need to use the key to get in. But not Emmy's key. That's the wrong key. We gotta use the low key from the lake. Yeah, you gotta use the vacuum a lot in this game. No, you don't actually have to pray. What is this place? I hear a baby. It's crying. So, this is what happened. Let's explain, let's explain some of the lore of this video game. Thirty years prior to the events of this video game, Ichiro Mamiya, who owns this mansion, disappeared. We don't know what happened to him. Lady Mamiya, his wife, accidentally turned on the incinerator while her child was playing inside of it. Those were the cries of her long-deceased child we just heard. And ever since that moment, she went insane and started incinerating other children so that her son would have other kids to play with. That's what's happened. There's a doll here! That's why all those dead kids are in that room. Oh, hello! Haven't seen a ghoul in a while! <laughs> Is it semi-wholesome? I guess. Lady Mamiya was eventually, you know, other people eventually figured out what she was doing. And when they confronted her about it, she also committed suicide via incinerator. And it is her ghost that is haunting this building. That's, uh, that's why shit's fucked in this household. We need Emmy's key for that, probably. That is the wrong key. We need the low key. Story is lit, yeah. That's one way to put it. Not exactly the words I would have used. <laughs> ah, shit. Okay. These can yeet us out of the battle. Maybe if we double pray, it'll just die. Cool. The coffins. We have heard about coffins. We heard that there was a diary key in one of these coffins. But I suspect... I played the spiritual successor to this game on Steam? No, I haven't. But, uh, that's probably... It's probably due to the content of this game's story that they were unable to localize it, because how do you localize this in such a way... It just says stop when you pause the game. How can you localize this plot <laughs> Without making it, like, M for Mature overseas. <laughs> Maybe it's in this coffin. It's empty. 
Yeah, there was- the ESRB didn't even exist yet. But even so, it must have been problematic. <laughs> it's a corpse. It's not that one. That key is in here somewhere, chat room. Oh, hello. A skeleton. It's not that one. Yo, I'm gonna check that link out later. <laughs> change, change all the just right candy surprise for all the text. Yeah, that'll do it. There's the key. We have done it. Key get. Now, we never need the gem ever again, so we're gonna swap out the gem for the key. Open that last one? Nah, I'm good. We found what we're looking for. My job is done. Head to the veranda. You must get more power. To push the statues. I wish I could go with you. Unfortunately, the rest is illegible. I tell you what. Let's satisfy the chat room's curiosity. How about we open this last coffin, chat room? A skeleton attacks! Kazuo is poisoned. Chat room, you're fired. <laughs> Is a blood trail. Oh no. This'll be good. Someone's about to get someone's about to get tossed. <laughs> someone's about to get tossed out the building. Oh no, he went for the uh, physical attack, thankfully. Don't you dare raid Skeleton. Although, maybe if Skeleton is streaming after we're done... Maybe. <laughs> it's writing on the wall. Takashi, Kenji, Etsuko. Never give up. So there were several people that were in this building before us. It's illegible. He must have written the notes. How sad. A cart that fits too! <laughs> Holy shit, that's fast! <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, big speed. Does it serve any purpose? No, it's only in that one room. It's just for fun. Alright, save the game. We are so close to being done with this basement. See this area? Civilized. Civilized area. This one? Not civilized. We gotta get out of this basement. I never want to see this basement again. We're just gonna pray. We're just gonna pray him out of here. Play UN Squadron. You got me. Is this a link to UN Squadron? Oh hell yeah! I'll check this out. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna save that link. I'll check it out later. Um, what did we do? What did we do? What do we gotta do? No, we have the diary key. Chat room. We gotta look at the diary. What's in that diary, chat room? Using the diary key. 
It opened. Now we gotta look at it. Let's read it. She shut herself up in her room. Door is locked. I have to enter through the veranda. I must stop her. This is Ichiro's diary. Her spirit has become possessed with rage. The innocent deaths must stop. So... She died before he died, then. He's, a, he's writing about the ghost of his wife in the, in the diary, so she must have died first. Even if it means losing my own life. Did Ichiro fall victim as well? We don't know. We haven't seen him. Can we take the diary? I have an empty slot. I cannot grab the diary. We have to leave it there. It's the wall, brother! I could do with less of these, I'll be honest with you. Just, just get them out of here. I think it's about time to use another tonic. It's about time to use another tonic. It's been a hot minute, chat room. We gotta, we gotta heal up. It's time to heal up. It's been a while. Yeah, heal up and save. I agree. But first, we gotta bring the whole party together. Bring the whole squad together so that when we use this tonic, it hits all five of them simultaneously. Kiko is poisoned. I don't know if that's... I don't know if that's one that Akiko can fix herself, but we do have pills for that. That's why we grab the pills just for this. We got that tonic, though. Akiko's poisoned. Yeah, you're not allowed to control Akiko while they're poisoned, so we'll use the pills on her. Uh, pills. Here we go. Now, who's got the pills? Did I just consume them and they didn't work? Did they disappear when I tried to use them, or is somebody else holding them? Yeah, we used them and they didn't work. So that means there's no way to... No way to grab her out of it. That means we've got to back this up to whenever we just saved. Okay, so this is right after we were done in the basement. That's not too bad. So we just gotta go read the diary again. That's not terrible. You can use the pills on yourself. Ah, I see. That must be what we tried to do. Man! But yeah. It's a, it's a good illustration of our point that Akiko in particular getting hit with status ailments is very bad. It's very not great when Akiko in particular gets hit with the status ailments. Can she not cure herself? It depends on which one she gets hit with. Certain status ailments do not allow you to control the character that gets hit by the status ailment. Like curse, for example. Or not curse, uh, fear. Wait, call. Get this tonic going. Don't poison Akiko. Don't you do it. Sick. So that should bring everybody back to full health. And hot damn, do we have a lot of health at this point. That's pretty good. Save the game. <laughs> that bit of business is handled. So now we need to... We gotta go to the veranda. We were told to go to the veranda and push the statues around. So we can push these. We could not push these before. I 
think we pushed them wrong. Do it better. <laughs> Top off before you pop off. That's good advice. We are absolutely not making it. We are not making it to Team A with Team B in time. I take it back. We made it. <laughs> so we gotta push just that one. Okay. And then Asuka's got a rope. Asuka can rope across. No, the rope doesn't go far enough. We gotta use the bow to get across. The bow has longer reach. There we go. Who had it? Asuka? So Asuka needs to... Whoops. Whoops, that is the wrong one. Switch to Asuka. What happens if you're too late to get the teams together? You just... That character just loses their turn. Like, you spend your turn to let the other team catch up a little bit. It it just uses their turn, it's fine. Uh... We can't call for help because we're across the balcony. We'll just fucking... We'll just pray it away. We'll just pray the damn skeleton away. Asuka needs to split off here. Because Asuka needs to go back across. And Asuka needs to... Wait, no, Asuka's got the rope. Who had the bow? Swap the bow for the rope. Use the bow to get across. Grab the other team. Use the bow again to get this team across. There we go. We have some weapons we can use, maybe. There's another flash knife. So Kazuo can get rid of the silver axe he's had for a while. Put Asuka back on the correct team. What do we got here? We have a rune axe. That's from the very beginning of the game. That's hot garbage. And the silver sword, which is probably also bad. Okay, so that's all handled. Yeah, he's really using a fork as a weapon. I guess it's supposed to be like a pitchfork. It's never really extrapolated upon. Well, we can do some really strong prey attacks now. Not the right key. We need the low key for that. Cool. Ooh, new music. Oh, that's not stressful music at all. Oh, hello! Oh, shit. <laughs> there's, there's no way to get Emmy in that, uh... There's no way to get Emmy in that gap, was there? <laughs> Yo, bait the boulder. Bait the boulder. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get everybody inside. What a strange wall. Can I look at it? There's nothing unusual about this wall, is there? Is that correct? I don't believe you, Capcom. I think you're lying to me. Not buying it for a second, Capcom. A skeleton. A trap! Drawn to your death. There's ice in this room. That's clearly not all that is in this room. Oh, hello. There's a cat in here, though. Which makes this room good. So we need the, uh, we need the pick here. The pick will make it so you don't slip and slide on all kinds of bullshit. All these bodies down here. 
when you're standing in these bodies, you take, I think, 10 damage per second. So it's, you'll very quickly die standing there, and it's hard to get out of it because it's icy. So you'd have to go all the way over here. You'd have to go onto this particular platform to safety. And um, if you don't have a rope as well, there's no way to get out of this icy room. So you'd need, absolutely need, the pick for this. There's no way out of that situation if you're not prepared in advance. Uh, What's this way? Oh, is that the exit to the same room? I see. Haven't seen any, uh, haven't seen any suits of armor in a while. Let's bring the other team in. Yeah, it's very mean. There's a lot of that in this game. Sometimes you just get cooked. You know, like, beyond repair. Sometimes that just happens. 91 damage, that's fucked up. <laughs> Night nipples are back. Wow, that's a durable... That's a durable suit of armor. Uh, use the pick again. Let's grab this tonic. Oh, you know, we're holding another... We're holding some shit we definitely don't need to be holding. We're holding some wood right now. We definitely don't need that wood, so if we find another item that we need to pick up, we'll just toss the wood out, because I don't think we ever need wood again in this game. Not a huge fan of the skeletons. We're just gonna... We have enough prayer points at this stage of the game that we're just gonna start praying away problematic enemies. You just noticed the people frozen beneath the ice? Yeah. It's fucked up, ain't it? The hell's going on in this mansion? Look out! We're going right. Easy. How did he know? Granted, just praying there would guarantee that it works. Comfy time putting keycaps on the keyboard while getting spooked. I'm so sorry. I tend to not to enjoy the really spooky shit, so I would try not to subject other people to that. But I do feel like this game has some kind of historical significance. You know, there's a strong chance we would never have the survival horror genre as we know it without this game, so I feel it's important to show that off at least. The room is close. Must find the two keys. Uh oh. So we gotta play Silent Hill? Yeah. Oh, I'm just double praying. That wasn't a good enough pray. Pray better! Can I believe it's almost August? I can't! It's almost my birthday, then. My birthday's at the end of September. Gonna have a- gonna have a birthday stream. Don't know what we're gonna do, though. There's a cut axe! Let's grab that. Let's take- uh, let's get rid of the mace for the cut axe. Do we have room for this tonic? Of course we do. Get rid of this wood. Face reveal? I mean, 
Oh, this one's upside down. This one has decided to be upside down. Just imagine, like, a man that's been stranded on an island for, like, 30 years, and that's pretty much how I look. <laughs> wow, you're still alive? Okay, we got him. Level up jingle. Feels good. <clears throat> oh, we've got more pills. Emmy's got Emmy's got room for items, but we don't need any of these. We can save Emmy's item slot for something else. Oh, there's a fresco down here! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Are you Wraith posting in my chat room? I'll allow it. I mean, Wraiths are really the meme enemies in this game anyway. Just as soon as a Wraith pops up, you're like, Well, guess I'm flying across the damn map. Yeah, post to this Wraith. Uh, Fresco! A man awaits his master's rings. You want a Wraith emote? Absolutely not. It'd piss me off just looking at it. <laughs> oh, it's a new dog! There's a wolf! Oh, that's pretty good. Our weapons should be good enough now that we can... Yeah. We can do some pretty strong physical attacks with these. What do we got? A shiny spear! Alright. Swap out a fork for a shiny spear. We don't need the camera or the broom. Oh, we can't push these. We can't push these ones! I think we can only push them from behind. Is, it, is there spooky? Is there spooky dank art? <laughs> yeah, that's really good. <laughs> it, it's gonna be hard to unsee the squad as that art. That's really good. <laughs> I love Anne's dank art. It's really powerful. I think we call the team, and then we do two prays. And then maybe it'll die. With the, it'll, maybe it'll die to the double pray. Somebody, somebody shill, uh, somebody shill Anne's Twitch. Because she streams, too, in addition to being a really good artist. I'm pressing the cancel button instead of the confirm button. There we go. I was hydrating, and I was pressing the wrong button on the stick. <laughs> We're creeping. We're creeping up on the end of this game, though. We're getting places, chat room. Another suit of armor! Is this Kazuo and Emmy? Oh, shit. We'll just double pray. You the feeling this home isn't very sweet? What do you mean? Emmy is frozen! Shit! Akiko can fix that. Frozen characters cannot move until you use either first aid or pills. Yeah, it's a very sweet home. I don't know why you I don't know why you think it's not a sweet home. It's very sweet. Oh, 
there's hella ice here. Uh, let's see. How do we... How do we get out of this pickle? Because we can't walk down. Here's the strat. Here's the strat. Who's got the... Who's got the pick? A Kiko? Okay. Walk in with a Kiko. Nobody is there. I cannot team up with them? Okay. Well, fair enough. We'll use the pick with a Kiko. So that a Kiko is not stuck on the ice. Or not slipping on the ice. And then we team up here. So now these three are all safe from the threat of the ice. This is how we've got to do it. <laughs> the cats mean the room is harmless? I guess so. I don't think there's encounters in any other rooms, yeah. A blue candle. We need this candle. It's mandatory for completion of the video game. All right, and here's what we're gonna do. Akiko is gonna split off. Nope, nope. Akiko is gonna use the pick again. Akiko is gonna grab the other two characters. Here we go. We gotta. Sometimes you have to big brain your way out of these problems. Use the pick again. This is all so that we don't slip into the into the corpses down there. <laughs> all right, we figured it out. We had to. We big brained our way out of that shit. Yeah, you can split parties. You have to in some situations. There are some instances of the video game that require characters to do things solo. We got, we got ghosts. We got spooky ghosts in here. Oh shit! I'm going left. Alright. Crushed it. Absolutely smashed it. He's upside down and he's pissed. Bring the rest of the squad. <laughs> Spooky ghosts and tasteless rug. What do you mean? That rug really ties the room together. It's a good shade. It's a good shade. The lesson here is don't let me decorate houses. Alright, left worked last time. Let's try it again. All right, I think left is just how we avoid those. Let's see if they're all programmed the same. Let's go left a third time. All right. That means they're not randomized, then. That means they're probably the same per object. Which is, that's good info to have. What do we have here? Whomst? Madam was badly burned trying to save the child. Could just be lucky, that's true. Two keys are in the back passage. That's true, that we could have just gotten lucky three times in a row. Madam awoke after her baby was dug up. So this mansion hadn't become haunted until the baby was dug up. Everything was totally chill. She no longer recognizes us. I'm scared. But all of this must have been happening while Ichiro was still alive. Don't need the low key. Yeah, this game's great. Why were there six coffins? Why is there a skeleton in here? Is there a dead... Is there like a dead maid? Are there... Are these are all maids, yeah? Or like servants or whatever and just... I guess just fucking somebody's dead! Where does this go? Yeah, it's very The Ring. Oh, this is the other side of the... Okay, that's just a shortcut. Sick. Let's bring... these people over. Ah, 
Aha! Later! They did the Resident Evil door opening first? Yeah! Well, this game was made by Capcom some seven years before Resident Evil. And it was made by <laughs> the very same guy who later conceived of Resident Evil. It's the same guy. Yeah, it's a Capcom game. It never came out outside of Japan. Uh, what am I doing? Call? There we go. Call the team. Call the boys. The game is at least playable in English now, but certainly not when the game came out. We're playing an English translation from 2000, and that was probably the earliest time that it was playable in English. There was a, there's another English translation that came out in like 2017, I think, and I don't know enough about it to compare the two. But there are two different English ways to play this video game. We've got another fresco. Does the word fresco sound fake to you yet? The tomb was broken. She's possessed the house. You speak Spanish? You know, it's probably- it probably sounds less fake to you if you speak Spanish. Uh... Do we ever use the low key again? I don't remember. I kind of want to hold on to it. I can't toss that key. What can we toss? We have rope, and we have a bow. The rope is just a shorter range version of the bow, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab this healing item, and we're gonna get rid of the rope. We've already got a bow, we don't need both of them. Yeah, I must admit I am not a Spanish speaker. I've barely got English figured out. You need two possessions to confront Lady Mamia. Oh, we're getting close, though. We're getting close to the end of this damn game. Emmy? Emmy? You good? Okay. What the fuck? <laughs> Just... I guess she split off when uh, she got poisoned. I guess she just decided to dip. Oh, we need the uh, we need the vacuum. And there's ghosts in here that can yeet us out of the building. Okay, here's what we're gonna have to do. We're gonna have to play this sort of. We're gonna have to play this sort of safe. Our vacuum. I'm pretty sure there's a key in here. Yeah, there's ghosts that can, uh, there's ghosts that can just teleport you out. How do I know all this weird shit that's needed? I've played this game before. Uh, otherwise, you just kind of have to stumble around a bit. There's a great many things that are not explained to you. Yeah, or just open game effects, that's always an option. Oh, these can blow wind, too? We almost got ejected from the battle? Alright, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take one person. We're going to save our video game. We're gonna take one singular person. Let's take, uh... Hmm. We need... Or maybe it's fine to get ghosted in that room. Let's perform a- let's perform a science experiment. We're going to perform a science. Let's try this. Let's get ghosted on purpose and see where we end up if we happen to get ghosted here. Where does- where do you end up? Yeah, we're going to perform a science. Oh, this is the same as, uh, this is the same area. Okay, good. Great. 
good, great, sweet, awesome. That means we don't have to worry about it too much. So let's back that up. Basically, we just have to gun it. We just have to, uh... We just have to, like, bum-rush the helpful item in that room. We'll put the tonic... We'll put the tonic on Kazuo, because we probably have to ditch it. Holy shit. Didn't even kill him. And he got cursed. Which really isn't that bad. That's just a reduction of prayer points every time you take a step. In addition to the obnoxious blue flashing, of course. Let's take just Kazuo. We'll just run from fights and we'll grab the thing and we'll get the hell out. We'll probably get ghosted out. Zod is the only reason we're here. We needed this key. We got the two keys. There's two keys. <laughs> Yo, the jukes! Oh shit, he's gonna make it out. He's getting out alive. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That wasn't supposed to work, but it sort of worked. All right. All right, I'll take it. Feeling good about that. Yeah, then a wraith shows up. Just launches us across the mansion. Actually, it might be more beneficial. Because we have to go back to the main room anyway. It might even be more beneficial to get ghosted on purpose. How about we... Let's just get ghosted. This is probably the better thing to do. Because if they all take you to that same spot, that's pretty much where we want to be anyway. <clears throat> let's just let this happen. And then you end up in the same spot, yeah? Sick. Okay. <laughs> yeah, if it was uh, if it was different areas, we would have had a huge problem on our hands. Oh, I'll triple pray that. Just triple pray the damn thing. Yeah, we got strats, baby. Because if we do it this way, we don't have to deal with the ice again. We need another one. <clears throat> We're fresh out of ghosts. So let's try that again. Go back in. I need you to yeet my boy Taro. Here we go. Just ghost him. Imagine if you could tell a frag from this. That'd be fucked up. All right. We're back, baby. Because we gotta go this way. Oh, I see a rock. I saw a boulder. We're gonna call for backup. But this is also very risky because those knights are capable of blowing you across the across the mansion. So let's hope he doesn't. He flashed. He froze Emmy, that's fine. Have I played Destiny of an Emperor? Yes, I have, actually. My uh my younger brother is a big fan of that game. Emmy's frozen. It is pretty good, yeah. I think the second one's better than the first one, but they're cool. I'll show. I'll probably show those off sometime. 
my younger brother is really into those, or just kind of in general, any Three Kingdoms China games. He likes Dynasty Warriors a lot. We chose the wrong direction to dive. Yeah, he was frozen today! Yeah, three damage is not a lot, in hindsight. Shit, these can blow us away too. Why does every enemy in here have the capacity to launch us elsewhere in the mansion? Just everybody at this point of the game can do this to us. Okay, he didn't go for it though. Can the QTEs kill you? Possibly. But it would be really hard to have that few hit points at this stage of the game. <laughs> the fucking armors are back. Okay. Emmy is too scared. Oh, no, that's not... Oh, okay, so that blow wind isn't the ejection from the battle, then. That is... That's just the, like, ten steps and then you get paralyzed one. That's totally doable. If that's what they do, that's way more manageable. As long as it doesn't hit Akiko. If it hits Akiko, we've got a problem. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten steps. Switch to Akiko. Cool. There's a tonic right there. We might as well use another one. Sounds like you should save. I think you might be onto something there. You might be... Oh, no. Emmy is... <laughs> Emmy didn't come with me. <laughs> Let's try that again. Uh, call Emmy. Here we go. I need you to join the battle as well. Thank you. She's just chilling. She was just vibing down there. Cool. Thick, thick, meaty level ups. That's what we're looking for. How are we doing? Level 15, 14, 15, 15. Okay. Everybody is doing pretty all right. I still hear armors. I hear suits of armor clanking about. There's one. We have to go back to trying to ensure that everybody gets experience points. Because we want, I think, everybody to be on 16 by the end. No more armor. Are we clear? Are we good? I guess we're good. Key. Not the right key. Is it the low key? No, is it the two keys? Ah, there it is. That there is an ice room. Uh... It's safe on the sides, though. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Here's the play. Check this out. Kazuo is gonna split. As soon as we take a step forward, he is going to slide down towards the, you know, the damaging corpse body things at the end of the ice. But you can still move left and right while you're sliding. So we're gonna, we're gonna get out of there. And then we're gonna switch to Emmy. We're gonna do the same thing. <laughs> we're gonna slide to safety. That's how we handle that, yeah. And the other team just has a pick and won't have to deal with that. Is the two key supposed to be the second floor key? I think it's actually a set of two keys. I think they mean it to be like an actual pair of keys. Two keys. No. 
Is this just the regular key? Got it. Whoa, we're in Ichiro's study! This was Ichiro's room! Yamamura's here! You're safe! He's alive, I guess! Remember when he got cooked by that statue earlier? I guess he made it. You've done well. Now enter her room by the lower right door. Yeah, he's fine! Good luck! You got it. And then he gives, uh, there's some picks in here so you can get back out. He's gonna be A-OK. -okay. There's another cut axe. Uh, the two flash knives, I think we should just keep. Those two are fine with those. We should put the cut axe on... We should get rid of this other pitchfork for it. Now everyone's got a really good weapon. But there's also this. There's the jade ring. First things first. Fresco! Yo, what's up, Alfred? We're playing spooky NES games today. When the two meet, Flash! It's yours. Cryptic clues. Uh... We need this ring. It is mandatory to pick this up. We should probably... Yeah. Let's just bank on the idea that we can save enough that we'll never need to use the pills on Akiko. We'll just bank on that idea. Get out of the ice. Oh no. Did the armors come back? <laughs> the suits of armor came back, of course they did. I don't think we ever use the low key again. And we don't have any inventory slots to equip... Ah, oh, you know what? I'm not taking that risk. I was about to do something stupid! Let's not do something stupid! Let's just bring Akiko back with the pick, and then she can grab them, and then we'll be fine. I was about to toss my low key. <laughs> Probably the stupidest idea I could have had. This is the- this is the smart boy way to do it! Here we go. Gotta make smart boy plays. The fucking all the suits of armor came back. <laughs> Look at him. Was he stuck in the wall? Is that what I just saw? I think he was stuck in there. No effect. They're definitely cheating, I agree. Definitely deploying cheat codes. We've got three statues. They have open hands. What do we got? Can we give them the jade ring? No. We are supposed to give them, if I am not mistaken... That's very Shadowgate. We're supposed to give them the candles, if I'm not mistaken. We have a blue candle. There we go, there's one of them. Place to the candle. It fits! There are three of those, though. So we have to figure out where the hell the other two might be. Zero Galaxian. Welcome to, welcome to Spookums. 
Welcome to Big Spookums. Oh, I'm ducking. What's in here? What do we got in here? Yeah, there's a knife! There's another candle! I don't have room for this candle! Emmy's gotta grab that candle. Shit! We don't got room for that. These two gotta grab it, because they got room. I can't emphasize enough just how little inventory space you get in this game. And considering that there's permadeath, that's gonna be an enormous problem if anybody happens to die. Yeah, item management. As an unrelated side note, though, is there anything more satisfying than organizing your uh, attaché case in, in RE4? <laughs> is there anything more satisfying to look at than an organized attaché case? I think that's the peak of video game satisfaction. Alright, let's place that candle. Ah, we almost got there. What if we just double pray him? Maybe he'll die. Nope, he lived! He survived?! Oh, he's good. Place candle number two. Good. What was farther this way? There are so many, so many cats and mice in this room. Ah, that's where the other ring is! Yes! Perfect. We just had to circumnavigate all that shit from earlier. Yeah, <laughs> what do the rats want with us? <laughs> Kazuo is too scared. Thankfully, none of these, uh, none of these fears are hitting the correct, or thankfully none of them are hitting the incorrect person. Okay. Uh, this is not who has the key. God damn it. Emmy, sometimes Emmy just decides to not come with. <laughs> sometimes she goes into business for herself. Uh, two keys, I bet. Yeah. Has anyone been keeping count of the number of battles? There's been a lot. I mean, it's, a, it's an old JRPG. So you're gonna get old JRPG encounter rate. Is that Lady Mommy up ahead? Oh shit, it's getting serious. I don't think that's Lady Mamiya. He speaks. Who goes there? I serve Ichiro. By his order, none shall pass. You got it, Chief. I agree, we'd better save. It's also, like, not super clear what you're supposed to do here. One of the frescoes tells us that we have to touch two items together. And then something will happen. What they are referring to are the jade and ruby rings. So we need to take... Who's got it? Who has the other one? Asuka? Asuka needs to give the Jade Ring to Emmy so that Emmy is holding both of them at the same time. And then we have to talk to him. If we use the two rings while they're 
in the same person's inventory. I think we have to... No, that's not it. Maybe we have to do this first. Maybe we have to do that first. No, that's not it either. Maybe we have to pray first? Let's see. Or maybe the, uh... Maybe the party leader has to be the one with the rings. Kazuo was technically the party leader right there. Let's try that again. Ah, there we go. The ring is shining. So they're shining and we still can't get any progress. Whenever this happens, that usually means we have to pray. Let's get a big thick prey going. 76. The rings are singing. He speaks. Ah, is that you, sir? I've done as you asked. None have passed. Farewell, good sir. His vision's apparently not great. He just led us on by as if we were Ichiro. <laughs> yeah, be praying. Let's save again. Dick Debonair gifted a sub to Sir Shiner. Who disturbs me? We did not break your child's tomb. Please stop this. Oh, shit. <laughs> we got tossed into the wall. Be brave. She's up ahead. Return to your sleep, Mommy. <laughs> she just wants her baby back. You shall die. A barrier? After all this? Don't worry. I'll take care of this. While I can't be with you, never underestimate the power within you. It's the only way to overcome Lady Mamiya. So long. Epilepsy warning, by the way. A little late on that, but... He's probably fine, he's just napping. He's just, he's just napping, he's probably fine. <laughs> it's very cool for NES, though. Yo, Tenrose, thank you for the follow. It is pretty, it's pretty neat for NES, not gonna lie. Gruesome. Very gruesome. So this is Lady Mamiya's room. Oh, there she is. Powers are meaningless against me. And then she fucking tosses you all the way back to the beginning of the mansion where the fireplace was. Where am I? I must have been knocked unconscious. Oh, the fireplace. The fireplace is out now. It's been on this whole time. Back to round six! Streets of Rage style! It's fine, though. Because there's a shortcut that has conveniently, uh, we have the ability to open up a shortcut. This door, this door from way earlier in the video game, has been locked this whole time. But I think that we can, uh... I think you need the two keys to use it? Or maybe the... No, it's not the two keys. Yeah, yeah, okay. No, that's the wrong key. We couldn't open it, but we still can with our other team. Mamiya only blasted out the other team. So we should be able to bring this team in. And she only does that once. So we should be able to grab the other shit. We missed the scene now. We're fine. Uh, 
Yeah, this is the key. This is the gold key. That unlocks the shortcut. So somebody's got to grab this. We have to swap out. I don't think we use a pick ever again. I think we're done with picks. Let's operate on the assumption that we're done with picks. Grab the gold key. And look at the fresco while we're at it. Yeah, she just fucks off after uh, teleporting one team back. The tool, diary, photo, and coffin. This is important. Write this down. Those are the four items we need to beat the game. So the gold key opens this door. Yes, of course it does. Nope. 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 I think not. No. I think not. This is the other side of that same shortcut. Emmy and Kazuo are on the other side of this door. The shortcut basically lets you go from the start of the game to the end of it. There we are. Squad has reunited. Although, just to help people out, can you remember those 20 to 25 minutes from now? Yeah, probably. Just to help people out that maybe had trouble with this game. Maybe there's somebody out there who got about this far in the game and they started having trouble when it came to, like, healing items and such. Let's... These knights are kind of in the way. I could... I'd like you to be elsewhere, knights. Not a Sklorton! There's something else in Lady Mamiya's room that we can grab, and you're not told about it! Yeah, the full movie's on YouTube. You're not told about this item, but if you examine Mamiya's bed... Not there. I think it's right here. There's a dress here. There's a hidden dress. This item has some significance in the film. And it's a very good item. It's very, very good. We're gonna swap out a tonic for it. What the dress does is it's an infinite use item that restores your prayer points. Infinite uses. It's probably the most useful item in the game. But it's hidden and you're probably not supposed to know about it. But now the whole chat room knows, I suppose. I want to steal, I agree. So now we've got a lot of keys. We have access to a lot of new areas. Like the fireplace down here. Yeah, it restores everyone's prayer points. I think everybody that's in the battle. So if we... Call the team. If we bring them into the battle and we use the dress, it should bring everybody's shit back. Oh, I accidentally killed the bats with the camera. Okay, so the camera is good against the bats. That's handy. That's good knowledge to have. I thought it was just the... I thought it was just the flashlight, but the camera works too. Get everybody's prayer points back. Let's get everybody's shit back. There we go. Dress. Yeah, the bats got scared by the camera. We didn't get their good side. That was the problem. And so this is in the fireplace. There's a gate. Can we open the gate? Two keys. Nothing happened. The low key! Nothing happened. 
Is it the gold key, perhaps? <laughs> Time to say I got you. I got you after this fight. Oh, hello! He looks friendly. Maybe he's friendly. Maybe. He blew wind! Oh, he probably just tried to yeet us out of the battle. They probably probably went for it. It's an actual ghost. It's been a while. There's a slide here. Like a slide for a projector. Is it the gold key? Ha ha! Oh, that's not that that's not it either. We do not have the key to these gates. What's down here? Gold key. Four doors. This is a very vague clue, but there are four doors in this mansion that we have to open with the gold key because they all have very useful endgame shit in them. That's our only real clue is that we have to go around this building now. We have to go around the whole mansion with this gold key and eventually figure out what the hell we're doing. This, uh... The game gets a little bit more freeform here, because now we have, like, free... We have free reign of the whole mansion. Now that we've handled all that shit, we can pretty much go wherever we want. Including... Including this room. This room has been locked the entire game. Pretty sure we need the gold key for this. Yeah. get to a fight as soon as we walk in. The wolf is back! Oh, that was a shitty prey. No, pray better. You can pray better than that. There we go. You figure the gold key would work like a skeleton key? I fucking wish. Sadly, no. The other team doesn't even need to be in here. I think this room has a ghost in it that can toss you out as well, so we gotta... We're not gonna spend much time in this room. Oh, we're getting better at these high prayers. Is there a ghost? Hold on. Yeah, there is. Of course there is. We're gonna read that note. We're gonna run in, read the note, run back out. Let's go. Don't come. I will follow Takashi. We don't know if any of these people survived. Anyway, that thing on top of the stairs is the projector. Yeah, there's lore. We'll keep resetting the ghost, I guess. You have the slide, right? Okay. We'll put the slide in the projector. No, it's not another... It's not another incinerator. Thank goodness. There's a projector here. Let's insert the slide. Who's that? Who is that? We just don't know. There's more slides, though. You thought it was an artillery cannon? What purpose could Ichiro Mamiya, world famous painter, have for a uh, for for like a like a naval cannon? I don't doubt that he'd have a need for it though. Just curious. What purpose does an artist have for any of this? That's a good point. I mean, what even is the layout of this building? What the hell is going on here? Oh, nope, nope, I think not, okay.
So we gotta go all the way out here, I think. No, that's not it. Uh... I think I remember where all the stuff is. Pretty sure. We're very close to the end of the game, it's mentioning. Uh, it's worth mentioning. Pretty much, we're at the stage of the game where we just have to collect those items that we heard about. I did not dive in the right direction. Yeah, this was a locked door that we never had access to. They really sprinkle these gold key doors, like, all around the building. Just all around the building. <laughs> we did not have access to this room before. The entire floor turns to ice. It doesn't, uh... You don't, like, slip and slide on it, but it just deals damage while you're standing there. Takashi, push the bronze statue. There's another slide. Let's grab that. Tell you what, we'll use a tonic. We'll just use a tonic here. So those are their, those are those three's maximum HPs. We'll grab this slide. We gotta bring the slide back. Do you have to step on that switch? I think the entire floor freezes over if you cross the vertical plane of that switch. Yeah, the dude in the corner is alive. He's just chilling. He's vibing. Even these rooms that are booby-trapped, there are still frescoes in them. The projector shows the way. You got it. We already kind of knew that, but we got another slide. Let's bring it back. Yeah, the artillery cannon will show us the way. <laughs> so we're just going on a little, we're going on a little scavenger hunt. That's all we're really doing here. It shouldn't take terribly long. I'm pressing the wrong button again. Yo, what's up, Took? Playing some sweet home. Are you Wraith posting again? Are you Wraith posting in chat? I'm not clicking that link. I'm just going to trust that you're Wraith posting. <laughs> We gotta bring this slide back as well. The fuck am I doing? This is not... Here we go. This ain't the room I was aiming for. That ain't the projector room. Ah, it's this one. Raise your hand if you're a wraith. Raise your hand in chat if you're a wraith right now. Ah, shit. Wait a minute. There was an axe in the corner of that room. Oh, I kind of want it. Kind of want that axe. Not gonna lie. Slide two. And the last slide should be right over here. Right outside. There's a note. Takashi, the third fresco is upstairs. You know, I think we were meant to... I think we were meant to go here way earlier. Ow. 
Ow, there's just thorns all over the goddamn place. <laughs> you have to tell us if you're a wraith. <laughs> So we can do like 80 point prayers. I think that's all we need to be able to beat the game. Whoops, I have split from the team for some reason. I think the highest prayer the game requires you to do is like a, I did it again. I think the highest prayer the game requires is like an 80 point prayer. So we should be fine with what we've got right now. Level 16, 16, 16. Everyone's on 16. Perfect. Back to the projector. That is not how we access the projector. Use the third and final slide. All three slides. The baby and wife are burning. So this is the, uh... This is the family right here. Two of them died in a fire. One of them is still MIA. PP Willpower has subscribed for two whole years. I can't believe it. Do we pray this? Do we pray the painting? Or do we pray the slides? I don't remember. Let's pray them. Kazuo used 81 pray points. The light causes the wall to fall! Yeah, okay. Yeah, it opens up a path right there. What kind of axe is that? It's a cut axe. I don't think much of that ghost, though. Tell you what. Let's leave the room, come back in, and then we'll bum rush whatever is on the other side of that wall. We'll just, uh, we'll just juke the ghost on our next pass. <laughs> Here we go. Run straight in. Before the ghost even has a chance to strike. Oh, there's stairs here. Oh, this leads all the way up on the first floor. We should probably get the entire team this way. We should get the rest of the team up, up over here. Get everybody in. This feels important. All right. Silver sword. What do we got? Cut axes, we got the shiny spear. And we've got the flash knives. Probably the flash knives are our weakest weapons at this point, so let's... Grab that silver sword. Not to be confused with the silver knife. One is good, one is bad. What key is this door? Is it Emmy's key? No. Is it the two keys? Aha! Yo, slapper pal! Subscribe for three whole years! Gamer, gamer! I agree. So for people who remember... This is the, uh, this is the courtyard. This is where we were breaking all the mirrors. This is where the fountain turned to blood. We're on top of it now. This whole time, there was a roof of the courtyard. We're finally on top of it. There's another silver sword. This is why we were here. Here for the iron key. The iron key is what we needed for those gates inside of the fireplace. Now we can finally go that way. <laughs> it might be, Agent Merlad. We may have already seen that happen in-game. Somebody definitely got skeletonized. It was very gruesome. 
Damn, those are some strong prayers. So now we gotta get back to the fireplace. Yeah, the upside down ghouls are very good. <laughs> I like them a lot. What happened to Bless RNG? Did they get rid of it? Are they nuking global emotes? As long as Rack Attack is still around, I guess I don't really mind. They nuked that particular global emote. I wonder why. That seems like an odd one to select. A lot of people used it. Oh, there were good reasons. I will take your word for it. I won't inquire any further. Where the fuck am I going? Um... Oh, we gotta go to the fireplace. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How did I juke that bat? How did I do it? Get the other team in. Let's get the whole squad in there. Yeah, I'll take your word for it. <laughs> uh, iron key for these gates. Yeah. The ghouls are back. It looks like they're jump scaring you. I guess they. It's a good way to handle that effect. In a game this old, they had to figure it out some kind of way. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to use the dress here. Yeah, they died way and they died in advance. What is this way? Let's go this way first. Let's put the dress here. So this is another part of the courtyard we just didn't have access to for the entire game, and only now do we have access to it. That doesn't look ominous at all. That looks totally civilized. Yeah! <laughs> Fucking yep! Oh, that goes here! Is that gold key? No. So that was a one-way door unless we open up this shortcut. With a proper key. We gotta go save the other squad. Yeah, the floor is lava. Okay. Get the other team off the door. And we can just open this with whatever the fuck opens it. It's not that key. There it is. Okay. Does anybody have a tonic? Nobody has a tonic. We left tonics all over this building, yeah? Where have we placed any of them? Now's not a bad time to grab one and use it. We left them all in various places. We just gotta figure out where they were. One was where the dress was. That's not... That's not too far. Okay, hold on. I can do that. I can make this work. Now's not a bad time to grab a healing item. Because two people are hurting. 
One at the ladies' room. Let's go back into Lady Mamiya's room. Another at the fountain? Okay. Did we leave one in the diary room? We have to go and grab the diary anyway, so... She, that works. This is not how I access any of that. This is the wrong direction. Here we go. This is what we're looking for. Yeah, definitely, definitely grab a tonic. Remember when these zombies were dangerous? I remember. We were so young back then. So naive. So full of hope. There's one. <laughs> these knights are kind of in the way. <laughs> Let's just go for the one in Mamiya's room. Can't be bothered with these knights. We never seen to them. Never heard of- ah, shit. <laughs> just everywhere. I understand. I understand. It's okay. We can win through the power of prayer. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get the hell out of this area, because it sucks. Which of the four items do we already have? We needed the tool and the diary, and we needed the coffin, and I think the photo? The only one of those we have is the tool. So we're gonna find the rest of those. Infinitely respawning knights, yeah. Every time the entire party leaves the room, There's a wisp! Here's what we'll try and do. Kazuo got cursed. That's totally fine. Here we go, just use the tonic. Akiko needs to... Heal. Kazuo, here we are. Now everybody should have some nice, thick, meaty hit points. Yes! Maybe we'll need, like, one more tonic, but we should be pretty much good to go for the rest of the game. That being said, we gotta walk on this lava again. And who knows how much damage that does. That's not too bad. That's not too bad at all. Why do the numbers get so big? That's a good question. I guess they wanted to give you the feeling of progression. It's not the iron key. Oh no, this has got to be gold key. Because we're looking at- we're, we're going around looking for the gold key doors. No, it's not even a gold key door. Let me put the gold key on Emmy, and then this'll just be the key team. This is the team with all the keys, yeah, okay. So it's fucking one of these. Perfect. Is this good? Why is this music playing? Is this fine? Is this okay? Nope. It's not okay. <laughs> There's a fresco in there, though. We gotta bring in our fresco team. Use the four items at signs of change. This is very important information. Appleshine gifted a sub to Ashton's Coochie. That is a username and a half. Excellent choice. Uh, 
That's the photo down there. What's a fresco? A fresco. Yo, nerd Josh, thank you for the thank you for the thick raid! We're playing Sweet Home today! It's really good! We're almost at the end of it though. We got two item slots. There's two things we need to grab. Ow. This is the third candle down here. We gotta grab this. Yo, nerd Josh, what were uh what were y'all up to? And this is the photo. We need this too. Takashi went on his own. Stop him. Okay, so that was the photo. We got the photo. We got the tool. We already know where the diary is. So we might as well go grab that too. What we do not know is the location of the coffin. the easiest way to get to the diary room from here. We still have a bow. It should just be this way, yeah? There were some knights in this room. I remember this. And then this leads to the hallway. And then this goes to the room with the yeah, okay. We're here. We can we might as well grab this fucking diary then. Welcome to the fantasy zone. Get ready. Yo, the sailor. Thank you for the follow. Yeah, the cat's just vibing. Oh yeah, we left the flashlight in here. Remember when we needed the flashlight at some point? That was a while ago. Yo, what's up, Ash? We're, we're knee-deep. Knee-deep in Sweet Home. Very close to the end, though. We need room for this diary. We might have to just toss the dress. The dress is nice to have, but it's far from mandatory. And it's hidden. It's secret anyway. We can leave that there. I don't feel bad about it. Glad to just show people its location. It was a nice dress. If you watch the movie, there is some significance to the dress. But I'm not gonna say any more than that. I would encourage you to watch the film. If you are interested. Is the mallet still necessary? Yes, sir. We do need that. So it is back into the fireplace now. We've done everything else. I'm pretty sure we gotta go back in here. Where are the other people? Ah, uh, they're still in lava land. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Wow, that's a lot of damage. Yeah, we're still going. We're super close to the end, though. Uh... This area sucks. A note. I leave you a rope. If you enter, leave one out. Whoops. So, there's a trap here that we're not going to participate in. The room to our left has two entrances. There's one that goes up and one that goes to the left. We enter it from this side. We are... We have the safety of this log to stand on. But if we were to enter this room from the other side, you can see that you just fall straight in and you have no way out of this room unless somebody's got a rope to pull them back up. There's an item down there. There's another pitchfork. And it's a very powerful pitchfork. There's even a fresco over there. But we're not going to do any of this. 
because we would risk our character's death because of that giant hole in the ground. As soon as we interact with that fresco, the sand will drag them towards the center, and if you do not save them fast enough, they will die. So we're not gonna bother with that. <laughs> I don't know what that means, Goaty, but I agree. We'll swap out the silver sword for a pick fork That's probably how you spell the word pitch. That feels correct. What's the fresco say? It's basically just another thing telling us the the order of the items that we've gotta use. We were told uh What was the order that they wrote them in? No, we don't need the fresco. It's not mandatory to interact with them all, I'm pretty sure. We do gotta go this way, though. Oh, he's good. Yeah, tool, diary, photo, coffin. That was the order. And since we already have that information, we don't really need to worry about the rest of the shit. We do, one at a time, need to cross this, though. This can be a time-consuming process. Because you have to reunite after you do these. These rooms, uh, this room is just a straight-up trap. There's nothing in it. Why one at a time? Because as soon as you start sliding on this liquid, everybody that is in the same team as your lead character leaves. They become uncontrollable and they will just get washed away to the right where there are spikes waiting for them. So if we're only controlling one character at a time, we never have to experience that. Unfortunately, Emmy just got into a fight by herself. Maybe we can just run. Excellent. <laughs> Alright, let's get the rest of them over here. This is a lengthy process, not gonna lie. But it's the only safe way to do it. And better safe than sorry down here, because it's easier to die down here than any other area in the game. It is stressful music, isn't it? That ain't it. Taro is who we got. Yeah. Got a skeleton. He's dead. Coffin wall. Ow, ow. The spikes do indeed hurt. Yeah, he's dead. We have to be standing on this exact tile and then hold up and that's the only way to really get into this little area. This is where we need to be. Everybody needs to be up here. Ah, shit. Emmy got caught again. Just run. Just dip. Thank you. Very pleased with the success rate of the flea command in here. Alright. One team is in. Emmy does really get harassed. It's fucked up. Hello. Ah, shit. Now get me out. Thank you.
two more. And there's really no way to speed up this process. This is just kind of really how they designed it. They want you to be very methodical about this. Yeah, we're at the end. This is one of the last things we gotta do. This is like the second last objective, because we have everything. We got the third candle. We needed three candles. We got the diary, we got the photo, we got the tool. The only thing we don't have is the coffin. And what do you know? This room is full of them. Fresco as well. Yabamura, I failed. Tool, photo, diary, coffin. In that order. That's very important. That exact order. Pray. Your timing. Important. This ghost just told us how to beat the game. We have to do exactly what he just said. Yeah, save now. That's a good idea. Got another fresco. What happens if you don't use the right order? Then the order resets and you have to start it from the beginning. Blue flames in hand. Nothing. Yeah, it's a strategy ghoul. Nothing. Which one of these is the coffin? It's not that one. It's gonna be the last one I check, isn't it? Of course it is. Here's the coffin. You can tell because it says coffin and not nothing. This coffin is an item that we can use. We have to pick it up like it's any old item. We just take the whole coffin with us. First things first, though, use the mallet on this. Because there was a secret path here all along in the dining room. This has been here the whole game, but you have to smash the mirror from the opposite end to get this very useful shortcut. And now that we've done that, we can swap our now useless mallet for the coffin. Because we never need a cop, or we never need the mallet again. We're done with the mallet. In fact, we are done with every item that's not the third candle and the the items that we need to beat the game. Yeah, just the one coffin. Sounds like a party trick. Yeah. We may not even need another tonic. We might just be good. Uh, we gotta get... Yeah, we gotta go this way, because we have the third candle. Not on this party, not on this team. We gotta place that third candle. Yeah, we're actually in the end game. Place the third candle. Use the candle. All three of them are placed. We still can't do anything with them, though, because they're not lit. Which means we need Kazuo's lighter. There we go. Lit the candle. But nothing happened. Which means we've got to pray again, because this is how we solve every problem. The game estimates around five or six hours. It's probably a bit longer if you don't know how to do things in advance. We just happen to already know how the game goes. It'd probably be a bit longer without that prior knowledge. 82 prey points. Was that good enough? It's flickering! Yeah, it could probably t it'd take a very long time if it was blind. Yo, Epistel subscribed for four whole years. Yeah, this game is super cool. I am a big, huge fan, and I can't recommend it enough. So this is the final screen of the game. 
We've got this purple hellscape, and there's tons of ghosts that will eat you out of the out of the room. They will they will absolutely just toss you out of the room if any of them touch you. As long as we're under an overhang, though, it doesn't happen. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna get to safety. We're gonna hide under this. We're gonna bring in our other team. We're gonna get under this overhang with this team. And we're gonna save. Now, if all five of the ghosts, because I think there's five of them in here, if they're all distracted trying to touch this party, we can then switch to the other party and proceed a bit. If she shouts, use the tool. Now they're all focused on this team, so we can move up this team a little bit. <laughs> Strategic use of the overhangs is mandatory here. The photo recalls reality. That voice is familiar. We are being chased. Switch. Yeah, come back over here. Come back over here. Where y'all at? Thank you. I need you to focus on this team. Focus on the distraction team, please. All right, we're in. There's a fight here. There's still fights in this area. It's against a Kiko! Or at least a clone of a Kiko. So we're gonna have to fight some of our own party members in here before we get to the end. It's best to just pray. It's best to just use pray attacks. A Kiko flashed Kazuo got poisoned. What does flashed mean in this scenario? That's a good question. Regardless, we gotta save him. Gotta save Kazuo, he's poisoned. And then we'll quickly switch to the other team. This team's over here. We gotta lure, we gotta constantly lure these ghosts away. I guess Akiko is just on this team now. So is Emmy. This is the team of three now. Oh shit, hold on. Distract them, distract these ghosts again. Need you all over here. Okay. Diary reveals the heart. It's Yamamura's voice. How doable is it to just... Alright, tell you what. Come back down here. Alright, gun it. <laughs> it's Taro, there's his camera. <laughs> this is what he's looked like the whole time. Hit him with our best prayers. That was probably just barely enough. Another one. Asuka. Another round of prayers. Ooh, it wasn't enough. <laughs> yeah, go away, ghost trip. There really are, though. There we go. Some level ups right before the end. This is a swell time to save! Alright. Fight with courage! Is the end of the game, chat room. There she is, it's Lady Mamiya, the final boss. 
Although this isn't so much a final boss so much as it is an exorcism puzzle. Yeah, we've come so far. Way to get the rest of the squad in. The diary reveals the heart. Thankfully, we cannot get ghosted while we're being called by our party members. Yeah, we didn't get there in time. The child is dead, Mamiya! I'll kill you all! Die! So I'm pretty sure at this point we have to use the tool. I don't know if anybody's holding it. Nobody we're holding has the- or no one in the party has the tool, so we gotta bring in these two, because one of them has it. Go to your rest, Mamiya! So I think we have to wait for the uh, I'll kill you all line specifically before we can do it. I think we specifically have to wait for the uh, I will kill you all line to use the tool. Why do you disturb me? Well, let's try it anyway. We'll go for the tool here. And if we fuck up, we at least save. Oh, hella, uh, epilepsy warning every time we use these items, by the way. No effect. So that wasn't the right time to use it then. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we have to wait for the correct line of dialogue. That's the one. This is the line that you have to use the tool on. I don't know why it's- I don't know why it works this way, but you have to wait for specific lines of dialogue to use the items. So now the tool should work. Yeah. Go away! Be gone from here! So now we have to use the photo. Whoever the hell has the photo. We're gonna run down the steps of this fight as they happen, because none of them are explained to you. Look, you were alive 30 years ago! Not now! The tool is an amulet, took my pearl. I guess they didn't have enough room for the word amulet, but it's an amulet. So we're showing her the photo that she was alive 30 years ago, but she's a ghost and she's just haunting this building. Your life has been long over! Now I believe we have to pray for a turn. Hit her with our strongest prayers. There we go. Now you enter phase two of the fight. Lady Mommy, a transformed. Maybe it's okay. Maybe she's fine. Maybe, maybe it's fine. How many must die, Mamiya? Your kid died 30 years ago. You're still bitching about it. You shall die! She's a little upset. She's an RE boss, yeah. I think we're waiting specifically for a line about Ichiro. We should be waiting for that. Yeah, that's the one. Ichiro loves me! On that line, you have to use the diary. You're making Ichiro suffer as well! Yo, game agent, thank you for the follow. Now I believe we have to pray some more.
Ooh, that was almost really good. My baby! I believe on my baby you have to use the coffin. Who has the coffin? You do. Let's hope this works. <laughs> Coffin used, yeah. Now all we have to do is pray, and I think we're good. I think we're done. We just gotta hit her with a strong enough pray, and it should be GG. Got her. Woo! And all five kids, all five characters survived. Not kids, only one of them's a kid. You're safe! Lady Mommy has said you were here. She's at peace now, and the estate is serene once more. Follow me. <laughs> yeah, I think so, Dunny. It is a little obtuse. There she is. She's at peace now. There's her kid, too. <laughs> That's very subtle. Oh, as Yamamura said. Yamamura? Yes. He said the power from within would save us all. Unfortunately, he sacrificed himself for our sake. How sad, yet noble. He felt responsible. Guilty, in a way. Was he Ichi? You know, it's never explicitly stated. But we can assume that Yamamura was Ichiro all along. Trying to save us. Juzo Itami. Is a very cool game. As this game is ambitious as fuck for 1989. This game introduced so many concepts that were used not just in Resident Evil, but in the entire, you know, survival horror genre. This game invented a lot concepts that are still used today in survival horror. Very influential in the creation of the genre. Yeah, it's a big recommend game agent. This game is cool. Presented by Capcom. Now we're leaving the mansion. And the whole thing crumbles. Alright, so this is technically the best ending. There's five survivors, so this is the five survivor ending. A report's complete and all is well. Congratulations! Comments? And then that's the end of the game. That wasn't... That wasn't the teacher! That wasn't the teacher! Who was that? It was a snatcher, don't you dare raid Spooky. If you're gonna raid Spooky, Welcome it better be family, Team Spooky. Get ready. Bullet Train, thank you for the follow. And the game hangs right there. It doesn't hang on a the end screen. After the ending, it cuts to black. The game is still on, but... It just stays like this. <laughs> Until you turn it off, there's nothing else. So, yeah, I don't know. This game is super cool. Super ambitious. I'm a big, huge fan of it. I would love, uh, maybe some other time we can play some more horror games. I'm not the biggest fan of spooky games, but I do think this one had some historical significance. And maybe just some people didn't know about it because it was Japan exclusive. So, I was happy to be able to show that off. That is gonna have to definitely do it for me, though. Yeah! Thank you, Malice. That's where the other endings are. You check those out if you want.
That's going to have to do it for me, though. <gasps> I'd like to thank everybody that came out to this stream. Thank you to all the absolute lunatics who gifted subs, rated and subscribed and hosted, threw bits at me, all that good stuff. <gasps> Let's figure out where we're going. Whom are we raiding? Yo, Apple Shine gifted a sub to Kaiser Wolf. Tell you what. Gary's playing Bloodstained? That seems about right for today. Bloodstained is about right. That's that's about the correct game Welcome to raid. To the zone. Get ready. Throw raccoons at him. Fucking destroy his chat room with raccoons. I don't care which one. We've got several of them. Yo, God, yeah, thank you for the bits as well. I don't know what I'm doing on Wednesday. I'll figure it out tomorrow, and I will see you all then. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Bye!